back, they beat the Suns 104-102. Jeremy Sohan and Devin Vassell led the way with 26 each. And Zach Collins added 18. The Spurs take their action on the road. They're heading to Utah. We'll play the Jazz tomorrow night. Sports Center is brought to you by Byers Barricades, the Texas Authority in Barricade Rental. BuyersBarricades.com. How good do you want to be? From play one to the last play, we fight. Today's about opportunity and character. We got a chance to come out here and play football. It's a blessing. Hey, every season is full of defining moments. Let's make this day a defining moment for us in our course. Let's go, baby. This is the morning huddle on 94 1. San Antonio Sports Star with Rob Thompson and the managing editor of Blogging the Boys, RJ Ochoa. Now, here are the guys. Hey, gather around. We got stuff to talk about. It's the morning huddle here on uh, San Antonio Sports Star. That's RJ Ochoa. I'm Rob Thompson. He manages the editing of Blogging the Boys. We're going to utilize that expertise today as we hear from the uh, head coach of the. Uh, Fighting Dallas Cowboys. We'll reflect on some Jerry Jonesism as it looks at some Cowboys stuff. But first and buy foremost, into buy into us. It's going to be a good show on a Tuesday morning. Uh, how are you this fine day post golf tournament? You seem to have shaken off the uh, the party. Yeah, uh, feeling back to normal, <laughs> uh, back in the normal groove, back in the normal way. Uh, but you know, refreshed. And uh, kind of a four-day week for us, if you look at it that way. Oh, it's downhill just, slide, as it always should be. Um, Boom. Well, thank everybody who came out to the Golf Club of Texas. It was a long time in coming, and we celebrated appropriately. The, the uh, golf classic that was was spectacular. Had a great time. The weather broke perfectly. Uh, the, uh, the the, the uh, libations flowed. And I learned something uh, that – well, I didn't learn something. yet. It was proved yet again that our listeners – are the finest golfers in all the world. We have good golfers that listen. I, I guess it's just San Antonio. I mean, everybody's very, very, very good at everything. Yeah, we are. We're, we're, we're extraordinarily uh, good looking. Smell nice. Smell nice. Properly yeah. attired. It's just, that's hey, just what subject, we do. Uh, congratulations on your new shirt. Oh, I know. It's uh, it's really nice. I'm, yeah. I'm very happy with it. It's Aggie esque, yeah. and uh, and uh, thanks to all involved to getting me that fine shirt. I, I I didn't put it on. It's a little cool this morning. A little, uh, you know, I'm running out of the uh, the time to wear all of the fall clothes. As I know they're imminently going to go to the other side of the closet, so I'm getting those in. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. uh, there'll come a time, as we always do, uh, sometime in July, where you walk into your closet like I don't want to put on any of this. So um, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to put off short shorts, putting on the uh, because once you once you get on the jorts, there's no going back. Um, jorts and I'm Columbia not. fishing shirts. That's all. That's all there's left. Once once you know, once you transfer to that side of the closet, hey, can you believe the Spurs last night? I, well, oh I think it's, this is such worthy of discussion. Why do they play so much better individually when Victor's not on the court? I'll, I'll say it. What the hell? I, I don't understand. And we're a year here. into this, man. But, hey, we're, we're going to celebrate as we should. Pop owns the Suns. I don't know what it is, but Pop will beat them. It, it's like chess and checkers when they roll into town. And we did maybe, it to them again. Maybe that's what it is. Like, Pop gets a chance to fully flex his muscles. You know what I'm saying? Without Wimby, he's he's... He's getting to play chess finally, and that's what it ultimately comes down to. Although, I I mean, look, a win is a win is a win is a win, and I'm not going to apologize or be mad about it. But, man, they tried to blow it. Oh. I mean, you know, they – they it was it was not almost lost it's, for lack of effort. It's Abbott uh, and Costello kind of goofiness to close it games It was out. wild. <laughs> but uh, how, how, how often they – you know, it looks like they were going to ultimately let it slip to their fingers. The perfect end would have been if Jeremy would have taken that shot with just one hand. If he'd have caught the pass and shot it, you know, done that little spin move that he does at the free throw line in midair and taken the shot. That would have been the best shot, almost the best shot of the weekend. I mean, fighting Texas Aggie to put that thing in overtime, I'm all about it. But the... uh the, Kel, the the Jeremy Sohan shot. You, how many of you watched that leave his hands and went crap? I mean, 
it it just feels like okay no 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 y'all are, oh! y'all are now you know what like two for 93 in those sort of situations all season long but it's you know laws of probability it finally had to break right their way one time uh it was amazing and and again the sequence at the end they almost lost it again even <laughs> after that uh there was a lot of chaos on the other side of the floor but it was a really cool and fun and whimsical win. That's the way I would describe it, whimsical. Dating back to the game on March the 19th, low six days prior to last, Sohan had missed his last 16 three-point field goals prior to hitting the go-ahead three. I would like to congratulate Devin Vassell on having the gigantic cojones on dribbling the ball and seeing his brother Jeremy over. Oh, for March, basically. And said, this is your time, man. <laughs> we all went, no, no, no. Hey, all right. There we go. He uh, only needs one hand. I've been told that by HEB. That's true. Um, congratulations to Jeremy. Congratulations to Devin. Congratulations to Zach Collins. Just a total... A total kind of who the hell are you guys and what the hell's going on here kind of game. Um, I don't. I still don't know if they can get to twenty. Oh no, they're not getting to twenty. You know this. This took all of their might. Their last three wins have been on the road. Two of them, at least, um, without Wemby. All right, against the Warriors, and obviously last night. And the one sandwiched in between there did feature Wemby on the road in a home game in Austin. What a weird just. The surreal, yeah. yeah. It, and then consider the uniforms they were wearing last night. All that turned into a surreal night that ended with a W. Hey, we're going to talk about that. Looking very closely at the Otani situation, he stood tall before the media, and in between he and us was another <laughs> interpreter. I just hope this guy's a little bit more honest. We're going to talk about it. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I was on with James uh, yesterday with uh, on the uh, – extra innings and we talked a little bit about it and i think it's worthy of discussion i think we're headed toward one of those moments where we're gonna have to kind of adjust uh, i think we have to figure out where we are in this whole gambling world that on the heels of a story with uh the, the toronto raptors a guy named jante porter he's michael porter jr's uh brother uh mark the porter the, the, from denver um this guy was evidently involved in a couple of weird uh over under situations with the Raptors where there was some illegal or awkward betting money put on him on the unders in a couple of games that he didn't finish. So uh, we're going to have to look at gambling awfully closely, it appears. I, I don't know where to go on this. I don't know about Otani. I don't want to not believe him, but man, history tells me that there's so much more to this. I would say that on Otani, the best worst case scenario is that he was gambling, right? And so, or is that if, the worst it, best? Is that the best worst or the worst best? Yeah. Best worst is that he was gambling, not on baseball. And so, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, then it becomes a matter of morality, like and, you and loca was, location, exactly. Right. Like, you know, so that you know, at, at, the, at the end of the day, the best worst case scenario for Otani is explaining that he was gambling on non baseball things <laughs> because there will be a camp of people who are of the mindset like hey dude whatever he's you know gambling's legal in most states you know we're we're you know six and one half half a dozen and the other we're we're splitting hairs on this here but this this porter story this looks there's no best worst case scenario here this looks <laughs> really, really 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 bad um and this because you said some some unders on some props he the the two examples that are cited in the story are really specific yes and and, and really um it's it's you know i guess what i'm getting at is it requires more than his involvement i would think you know what i'm saying like there, there had to have been some i, would, I don't want to even allege coaching involvement but some sort of you're going to be in for five minutes you're going to put up two shots so you can register as an active participant whatever if one of them is not your best shot in the world that's sort of the idea here blah, blah, blah. Then we're going to, you know, take out with an eye injury or whatever the report was. I mean, this, this looks way more preconceived than Otani saying, Hey, you know what? Give me the Cowboys tonight, whatever, you know, again, you can argue that they, that neither is harmless, that they're both harmful in varying degrees, but the, this new story, you're right. I, I have no idea. I, like the Otani thing you can kind of fix. You can just say, okay, 
let it let people gamble they just can't gamble on their sports or nobody can gamble on anything whatever i i have no idea how you fix this other thing yeah i we're going to have to accept the fact that there are going to be transgressions and we have to going to rely and we're going to have to continue to place our faith in the the, the honest <laughs> the legitimate gambling side of things knowing that if anything is screwy the entire house of cards collapses so we have to rely on the fact that the very industry that we're worried about is going to self-regulate because if they don't if we believe it's contrived or altered in any way the whole industry just collapses so i you know that's a very difficult situation for me to, for me to be in it and it always has been it's this existential thing that i think in all of us who didn't have it as part of our lives and you know on the regular that gambling we would wink at it and nod at it but we knew you know how bad could it be it, my book's a good dude he's only mad at me when i don't catch him on tuesdays you know but right. for the most part now it's so ingrained in the sport that if we don't if they don't regulate themselves we're because players can't. We can't regulate the players because those guys are coming from so many disparate places, and there's so many of them cycling through. There's no way we can keep up with all the guys in all the leagues that do all the things that we gamble on. There's just it's just too much. It's a it's a fire hose. So we have wow. to rely on the industry, and I you know that's just kind of screwy. I, I'm not I'm not comfortable. But you know what? They did self report, and we found that. So. This is a conversation that none of us want to have because us sitting in these chairs, I'm funded by it. Well, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm going to give you, a, I'm going to talk about bet us here in just a little while. I'm an active participant in the thing that concerns me the most about modern sports. And we, I think we all are. It's, um, it's not even a slippery slope. It's just, a slippery place. Yeah, it's we're... a very slippery place, and I don't pretend nice to have thing. the answers. I just know what bad looks like and what wrong looks like, but how to write things, the unintended consequences of all of this. You know, hey, you're humans. Lay a few bets, just not on your sport. Hey, lay a few yeah. bets, just not on your sport, but not in California or Texas. But if you happen to be in Nevada, feel free to go and do it. It's oh, and while you're in Nevada, if you want to get high, you're welcome to, but don't leave the state and gamble someplace else. Oh, that, oh that's another thing. So, you know, I can see sometimes people step on the line or over the line when they're, you know, not trying to transgress. And then you bring up the Shante Porter where you're like, dude, what are you doing? So we're going to look on both sides of the fence there. Deion Sanders says his sons, Shadur and Travis, uh, probably won't go to certain teams. That's the power of the modern athlete. We'll talk about the Deionization of college sports, and it is definitely there. Uh, Spurs, a happy day. And we are, we'll hear one. from free and easy basketball players, Keldon, and, and the way he talked after the game. There was it felt like these guys were freed for just a couple of hours. Uh, we're also um, going to hear from a guy who just works here. I don't know, man. I just work here every day. I come to work, Mike McCarthy. That was I have never seen an interview more of a guy that's like, "Hey, dude, I don't know. I work here. I'm just coming to work." We every have established day. a championship program. It's just not the world championship. But you know, I, I'm just punching the time clock, baby. You know, talent acquisition—that's a 365 thing. That's what my boss says. So that's what I'm gonna say. Mike McCarthy spoke. We'll hear from him. I don't know whether to feel bad for this guy or do I or, or feel like he's just stealing money. Like, yeah, I'll come to work, baby. You can hold me for another year, so I'll do this. What the hell? He's definitely enjoying the ride at the very least. So <laughs> it I, feels I, like I, it, right? He's he's very self-secure at the very least, so I'm, I'm happy for him. Yeah, and we'll try to define that because I do think it's worthy. So coming back, let's look at the news of the day, and that is the show, Hey, Stand Up Before the Men and Ladies of the Press and Explain Yourself, in with a guy in between them again. Uh, we'll... we'll delve into what is just a very interesting time well mike mccarthy will uh he sat down with shefty and gave the company line and Dion sanders and the shaping of the modern sports world so much to do so let's get busy he's rj i'm rob combined we are the morning huddle and let's head to break and pay for this fantastic talent you're on 94.1 san antonio sports star 94.1 san antonio sports star is your home for college basketball's national championship to their 12th national title game. 
68 teams, Sweet 16, Elite 8, the Final Four, one winner takes all. Hear it all on your home for March Madness. 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star, presented by Westwood One. My brother-in-law died suddenly, and now my sister and her kids have to sell their home. That's why I told my husband we could not put off getting life insurance any longer. An agent offered us a 10-year, $500,000 policy for nearly $50 a month. Then we called SelectQuote. SelectQuote found us identical coverage for only $19 a month, a savings of $369 a year. Whether you need a $500,000 policy or a $5 million policy, SelectQuote could save you more than 50% on term life insurance. For your free quote, call SelectQuote at 1-800-452-5050. That's 1-800-452-5050. Or go to SelectQuote.com, 1-800-452-5050. That's 1-800-452-5050. SelectQuote. We shop. You save. Details on example rate at selectquote.com. Puro San Antonio football is back at the Alamo Dome. Join the herd and watch your Brahmas in the best seats at the best prices. Single season and group tickets are available now. Don't miss any Brahmas action this season, led by legendary head coach Wade Phillips. The Brahmas kick off the season March 31st against the D.C. Defenders in the Alamo Dome. Let's pack the dome. Experience the excitement. Head to theufl.com to buy your Brahmas tickets today. That's theufl.com. Vamos Brahmas! Over the past decade, the Roof Hub has proven to be the best place to watch games with those three massive 170 inch screens and TVs all around. All the games, all the UFC fights, and when you show up at the Roof Hub, show up hungry. The food is fantastic. Open daily at 11, great for lunch, great for dinner, great for late at night, and certainly the best place to watch a game. The Roof Pub is next to the Angry Elephant and in the same plaza as the Big Blind there at 281 in Redland Road. We'll see you at the Roof. Gomez Law Firm has been taking care of the people of San Antonio for almost 50 years, the leader in personal injury law. Jose, tell us a little bit more about what you do. We do ride-sharing cases, 18-wheeler cases. Obviously, we've done those for very many years. Work injuries. We will be happy to take a look at and see if we can help. If you have been injured in an accident or hit by a company vehicle, then you need to visit JoeGomezLaw.com. We've been around for almost 50 years, and we're not going anywhere. Call the Gomez Law Firm at 736-4040. She posted about us just now. Celebrities can't get enough of Biana's bespoke skincare line. She has 147 million followers. How do we monetize? She needs a social media associate to help her with the hype. We should repost this. Do we need a hashtag? Indeed can help her hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. You can schedule and conduct virtual interviews all from your employer dashboard. Visit Indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. Hi, I'm Kamiko, the founder of Miko's Hot Chicken. When we started our family restaurant, we were also raising a family. But let me tell you, it wasn't easy. Our Chase Inc. car was there to reward us on all of our business needs. Now we have a thriving location, and we're hungry for more. With the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited card, you can earn unlimited 1.5% cash back on every purchase, so your business can go from here to possible. Chase for business. Make more with yours. Real business owners compensated for the participation. Cards issued by J.P. Morgan Chase Bank and a member of FDIC. Subject to credit approval. Terms apply. The good folks at Wendy's have a revolutionary new product for you. Introducing the new Orange Dreamsicle Frosty. It's like a time machine that takes you all the way back to now, the year 2024. It's the classic creamy, orangey flavor you remember. Dare I say, it's new timey. It's the flavor you grew up with, just all grown up. Head over to your local Wendy's establishment and get yours while supplies last. The new Orange Dreamsicle Frosty. Here for the now, for now. Limited time only, participating Wendy's. Save big during MVP's bonus days at Lowe's with limited time deals on everything you need. Right now, buy one select DeWalt 20 volt max tool. Get one DeWalt 20 volt max power stack battery two pack free, a $179 value. Plus, save $20 on a select bucket of Deck Plus wood screws. Find these deals and more in store and online today because Lowe's knows savings. Lowe's knows pros. Valid 318 through 329. While supplies last, selection varies by location. Hard work, dedication, and dreams. These are the keystones of success. But easily filing your taxes with TurboTax and Credit Karma doesn't hurt either. And getting your max refund guarantee definitely doesn't hurt. 
but let others think you did a lot of hard work to file your taxes when in reality, it was a walk in the park. No, no, you literally filed while walking your dog in the park. Winner! Because some key info is pre-filled for you, so you can file quickly and confidently like the boss that you are. So give yourself the peace of mind that comes with getting expert help because you're going places. Let's go. And make tax season feel like it's award season with easy filing. Yeah. Know that you're backed by the leading tax preparer, TurboTax, and we'll show you all your filing options up front so there are no surprises. Feel accomplished and confident that your taxes are done right. File an Intuit Credit Karma today. Ah, yeah. Expert help not available with all products. Guaranteed details available at TurboTax.com slash guarantees. Check out the 2024 Basketball Mayhem at SASportsStar.com. Enter your best bracket for the chance to win an incredible $1 million prize at SASportsStar.com. Hey, huddle up. He's RJ. I'm Rob. We're glad you're here this morning. And thanks to everybody who showed up yesterday and showed out at the uh, Spring Golf Classic out of Golf Club, Texas. Everybody fantastic. Thanks to the good folks that were there. Food was good. The company was equal or better, depending on the hole you were on. Had a couple of, of uh, shots out on the course. I... I uh, it, it had been a minute since I'd had some Johnny Walker black at about 11.15. Feeling it today. <laughs> well, just, you know, just you, be honest. I mean, I'm feeling you, uh, as you should after one of those uh, semi-annual You spoke parties. yesterday about how you had had a bit of a ruckus weekend. I had. It's been a... So you've just been living in a blur. I, <laughs> that's me. I, yeah. You know, this was another day in the life, quite frankly. Rob the Blur. <laughs> yeah. the, I, you know, I'd like to generate as many nicknames as that kid from Indiana State, the uh, Larry oh, Blur, um, yeah, Cream uh, Abdul Jabbar. Yeah, he actually uh, Steph Blurry. I think Steph is Blurry is another phenomenal yeah. one. Right. I, I'd like to live the kind of life where I, I generate those kind of nicknames. Um, on the verge. What What are we gonna call Shohei? I mean. So, I don't know. Shohei's really in a tough spot right now. Um, this is a, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Do you think anybody that isn't a Dodgers fan believes him? I, you know, I don't know what to take. I can tell you, I just feel like we're so early in the process. I'm going to reserve a lot of judgment, but this is him yesterday. You know, it was going to take a couple of days because he had to, the whole thing had to get back from Korea. You know, they're, they, you know, when they were there, it was like next week. I'm not sure how the clocks work, but the, so they had to come back in time. And uh, yesterday, it, with a brand new and improved and double vetted interpreter, uh, Shohei stood in front of a bunch of microphones and explained himself. This is it. So I never bet on baseball or any other sports or never have asked somebody to do it on my behalf. Uh, and I have never uh, went through a bookmaker uh, to bet on sports. Well, that wasn't him. That was his uh, the new, new the new voice of Shohei. It, yeah. Isn't this a cautionary tale that if you're going to go to another country, you better learn their language if you're going to do business there? I don't know. I think that the interpreter, the interpreting, kind of shields Otani a little bit here. Uh -huh. um, you know, and so I think the cautionary tale would be to not learn the new language if you can avoid it. But I will say there's a. The, the statement is kind of riddled with, I did not, I did not, I did not. And the only thing that makes me somewhat believe him is, you know, he, he wasn't, he, he didn't straddle a fence on anyone, on any one of these, you know, sort of accusations. He, he was pretty authoritative in that I did not. And so the willingness to look that stupid, if he, if you actually did do these things is insane. You know, you get what I'm saying? Like, if he really did bet or, or whatever, blah, blah, blah. That would be a little bit bold, in my opinion. Well, I mean, what other recourse do you have? And I'm, before we, I, I'm really curious, where does everybody stand today? I'd like to be, you know, keep a barometer of people's point of view from now. And we're still in the early, you know, the, the, uh, data gathering stage whether it be the u.s attorneys or the irs or major league baseball or whomever's interested with and the thousand of 
journalists that are now prying into every nook and cranny of Otani's life because now they're looking. Um, we're, I'll, I'll await the data gathering stage to kind of come together. But as it does, on its face, knowing what I know from the past and know, knowing that the standard line of defense is, first of all, express shock and dismay. Yes. Second of all, deny everything. And then let somebody make a chess move and react a- accordingly. That's the modern move. So we're in step two of the defense, but we're still in step one of the intelligence gathering. So I'm going to withhold, but I tell you from my history, I'm leaning on, there's something going on here that I don't like. I I mean, look, I was trying to be positive, but it's, it's hard to disagree with that line of thought. I mean, you're right, because you could also, like you just did, argue that being so I didn't do it is just is just trying to provide as much cover as possible, yes. trying to look as believable as possible. Um, I think it's, and people have already been pointing out the hypocrisy in him saying, like, I, I had nothing to do with this when not even a week ago it was, you know, there were statements on, and, and I think they're going to lean on the semantics of it all, the statements given by this spokesperson or that interpreter or this whatever, uh, because one of the statements was that he knowingly, you know, provided aid because he thought he was, you know, making up for helping his a interpreter's bro. debt. Yeah, helping yeah, a bro. I mean, so, I mean, it's, I think- it's either... I, we're you're you're also correct in thinking that we're at the beginning of him selling out the interpreter like it this is gonna get ugly the other thing is like and this this may be a stupid question but okay so there's four and a half million dollars here right that he you know was apparently robbed of mm-hmm. and and he that's his his take right his opinion his story is i had nothing to do with this he took the money Okay, why is this guy not in in jail? Like, why why is this guy not in handcuffs right well, now? He's why, got due are, process too. Why are you not too. pressing charges? Well, if if he stole four and a half million dollars from you, why, what's we're just letting this guy walk around town right now? Well, I, I think uh, I I don't know what the legal process is in California, but I do believe that there, just to save face, at the very least, there's an investigation going on from by in whatever jurisdiction this occurred. So we know that the feds are involved. We know now that Major League Baseball is involved. We know that every media type, whether attached to a major network or just freelance, is now digging into everything they can about Shohei and Ipe and uh, O'Brien or whoever this other cat is and all the other things that went into it. There's more news to come. Now, whether the uh, the long arm of the press finds something else or they just create something else is another story. But I just... On its face, when I see somebody absolutely adamant like this, I always go, yeah, I think you, you, you do protest this a little bit too much, and this is awfully quick to come out and say. And and just as a little passing, every time I just use my little-ass allowance ATM card, I get a thing on my phone that says, guess what? Somebody over at the uh, Valero just spent nine on a new drink. Right. I mean, I would like to think, I don't know what bank Otani's with. If somebody's moving half a billion anytime, half a million, give me an update. Send me a text. That's all. Right. I, if it hits six figures, this is no, no longer fishing. This is somebody outright stealing a lot of money from me. I would like for you to call me and say, hey, uh, did you authorize another 500 grand? Now, maybe we're, Ipe we're, answered, hello, this is Shohei. <laughs> maybe maybe he acted like it. But I would like to think that the bank would have several p- processes in place to letting know the actual account holder. That money is moving out of your account pretty fast, bro. We're also, you know, a little bit deep into conspiracy here. But if Ipe had access to Shohei's funds and he, whatever, it, you know, de- debate the morality of gambling all you want but why would he not just steal the money you know like why why would he steal the money to gamble you know like why why would he steal just the exact amount of money to gamble not to do with it it's and how do you get so deep into questions. a book as the interpreter for shohei like i know who you are but i'm gonna need some money today i'm not gonna let you get four and a half million in debt Right. I mean, it's so there's so much to this story I, and we don't mean to impute anybody. It could be absolutely honest. I'm I'm 
withholding judgment, but I'm leaning toward this is going to get icky. And when wow. we look at how icky could be with the face of a league, you look at the NBA on just kind of a bit player and a, just a couple of uh, props and how it could just up end everything. We're going to continue talking gambling on the NBA side of things. How do they handle gambling? Uh, we'll look at the different leagues as well, because we know what the NFL does. You got to go away for a year and you got to ring our doorbell to come back. Jante Porter, Th this this is a much more, I think, threatening story to the books because of, of some of the PR that was associated with this. And that's where, I mean, we're, we're, we're juggling cans of worms right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like we, we are juggling them all, and it's about to get really frightening, I think, for a lot of people involved. An existential moment that when you're dealing with the very funding that the future of all of our favorite leagues are predicated on. I mean, the funding that is growing into this big salary cap that's doing all this stuff. Where do you think this money is coming from? Yeah, it's TV, but where do you think the money that the TV is getting it from? Yeah. Uh, we're going to continue talking that, but hey, he's just an employee. He's got a name tag and everything. His name is Mike McCarthy, and he's the Dallas Cowboy head coach. He held that company line. We're going to hear from Coach. Uh, we're also going to hear from Steven today. He talked about his team that he has helped to put together, and they're pretty proud of the damn thing. Uh, first and foremost, Mike is here, and then the deionization of college and professional sports coming just around the corner. Hold on. A lot to do on a post-golf tournament hangover kind of a day. This is the morning huddle. Go hydrate. We'll be right back here on 94.1. San Antonio's Sports Talk. It's the Blitz with Jason and Joe. Afternoons at 2. Coming up on the Blitz, the golf tournament is in the books, and it was a great success. Everybody had a great time, and now it's time to look forward to Las Vegas. Yeah, that's on Thursday. On Tuesday, uh, we're going to react to what's going on down at the owners' meetings in the NFL. Plus, we've got taste of the north side tickets that we are giving away today. Yes, it's that time of year to start thinking Fiesta. The Blitz starts at 2. The Blitz with Jason and Joe. Afternoons at 2 on 94.1 San Antonio Sports. Star. When was the last time you went to the dentist? Need a new dentist? Hi, Jason Minix here. Go see my dentist at Smile Structure Dentistry Embraces. Smile Structure can handle all your dentistry needs from general dentistry to oral surgery, orthodontics for the kids, or Invisalign for adults. Mention this ad, get a free exam and x rays. Better owned with five San Antonio area locations. Learn more and book an appointment online at smilestructure.com. That's smilestructure.com. George gets justice. If you've been injured, get George, because George gets justice. With over 100 years of combined experience and a relentless dedication to your case, the attorneys at George Salinas Injury Lawyers will fight for what's right. If you've been injured and it's not your fault, get George and get the compensation you deserve. Call George Salinas Injury Lawyers today at 210-225-0909 or visit getgeorge.com. George gets justice. Getgeorge.com. If you've been thinking about buying a new car or pre-owned car, truck, or SUV, think Ansira.com. Browse through thousands of new and pre-owned cars, trucks, SUVs, and RVs. Shop for your next new Chevrolet, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Ford, Buick, or GMC. Or if you're looking for an import, we have a huge selection of Kias, VWs, and Nissans. Or for your home away from home, a full line of RVs and campers. And you'll always get the lowest Ansira price in-store or online at Ansira.com. Nigel, what's up with your hair? Joel, prices are insane these days. I'm cutting my own hair. Folks, nobody likes paying high prices. Good news. For a limited time, all quarter moon 14 sear AC systems up to three tons are installed in your house for only $69.99. Now is the ideal time to take care of your home at the lowest price of the year. Joel, I like saving money. I'm an influencer. Everywhere I go, people hand me change and say, bless your heart. Quarter moon plumbing, heat, and AC. 210-651-5899. License number M16004. TACLA 0007434. When it's time for the March Mania brackets, the bus wide open. As I was saying, it's mad. The mania of March at BetUS.com is all about those buzzer beats. Fortis offers. And when the madness starts and Cinderella, man steps under the... BetUS always has your back with... Back to back to back. 125% sign-up bonuses on your first three deposits. And even 10% gambler's insurance. BetUS.com Sportsbook and Casino, where the game... 
Join today. Bet U.S. Sportsbook and Casino, where the game begins. Jason Minnick's here from the Blitz. You know, with the tournament here, the college basketball pick em. It is the easiest way to get in on the action and a fan favorite way to play fantasy sports. If you've made your bracket, it's probably already kind of ugly. Well, there's another way to keep playing with your bracket already busted. It's the pick em game at Underdog Fantasy, where you pick between two and five players to build your pick em entry. And all you have to do is select higher or lower on all different kinds of stats in this week's tournament games for a chance to win big. Up to 100 times your money in a single night. Endless projections to choose from. Create your own experience. So download the Underdog Fantasy app or go to underdogfantasy.com. Sign up with my promo code STAR and Underdog will match your first deposit up to $100. Plus, you'll get a mystery special pick to use in your first pick of entry. Must be over 18 and present in a state where Underdog Fantasy operates. Terms apply. Concerned with your play? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit ncpgambling.org. Again, promo code STAR at underdogfantasy.com. Every 40 seconds, a child is reported missing. Find the Children is a nonprofit organization dedicated to helping find missing kids. You can be a part of their mission by donating your unwanted car. Call 1-800-294-0222. You'll receive the maximum tax deduction and we provide fast, free pickup. Call 1-800-294-0222. Donate your unwanted or unused car. Call 1-800-294-0222. This advertisement was paid for in partnership with Cars R Us and Find the Children. Life insurance. Why are you putting it off? Can't afford it? Too much hassle? Think you don't need it? There's lots of excuses for putting off life insurance. But if you weren't there, who would pay the mortgage and other bills? With Ethos, you could be covered in 10 minutes and boom, family protected. Ethos, fast and easy online term life insurance. Up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at checkethos.com. That's checkethos.com ebay motors is here for the ride go ahead feel your engine admire that perfectly installed exhaust your vehicle's moving along this freeway like it was made from fresh installs and a whole lot of love with ebay motors you get over 122 million parts to keep it running and with ebay guaranteed fit they'll be the perfect fit every time plus at these prices well we're burning rubber not cash keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. With Progressive's Home Quote Explorer, you can check if you're paying too much for home insurance because giving you options is the right thing to do. Oh, you mean like when I let someone with less groceries go ahead in line? Sure, there's a part of me that thinks, if you only need three things, maybe go to a convenience store next time. And now they're sifting through coupons and my frozen foods are about to be not frozen. But still, it's the right thing to do. So compare rates with Progressive's Home Quote Explorer. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and third-party insurers. Not available in all states or situations. Prices vary based on how you buy. The LaTap Texas Cycling Races are back in San Antonio, April 12th to the 14th. Cyclists of all ages, register now to ride in the 100, 60, or 25-mile Tour de France amateur cycling events. You can run, walk, cycle, and celebrate all things Fitness Fiesta at the Athletes Village and Expo, Let Tap Texas. Register today at FiestaFitFest.com. Presented in part by Thomas J. Henry. Check out the 2024 Basketball Mayhem at SASportsStar.com. Enter your best bracket for the chance to win an incredible $1 million prize at SASportsStar.com. It's the morning huddle here on San Antonio Sports Star. He's RJ. I'm Rob. Thanks for joining us this fine Tuesday morning. Did you check out uh, the ladies' hoops last night? I did. Kalen Clark and Iowa found a way. You doubted them. Uh, man, it, that, it was a team effort, though. She scored half their points, um, but didn't hit the big shot. Good game. The uh, tournament wow. continues. Stars yeah. are separating. Juju, Paige, uh, Reese. Uh, what's LSU's coach name? LSU's coach? Yeah, what's her name? Mulkey. Her name? Uh, Kim. Kim, Kim Mulkey. Mulkey, yeah. She is a, a fashion icon. Like you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, by the way. She wears uh, more feathers than I do, though. We can do this later, but we need to check in on your On if bracket. I'm singing next week or not? Yeah, because odds are. I think I, think I, think I am. I, I've been uh, yeah. quiet about that, but my success has lent itself to a musical rendition of a one shining moment while adorned in an Elvis costume. So I'm planning on it. Okay. It'll probably debut. I'll probably have to uh, 
rehearse it. I got to get some backup singers. Be ready. But uh, I will be singing It Appears One Shining Moment. Not Appears. Uh, well, if it goes scratch, then it will. We're going to talk some NFL today, too, not just Mike McCarthy. Um, they changed the rule on this hip drop thing. And I, there's a little bit more dissension in the in the ranks than I would have expected on an injury. I'm looking at numbers. Uh, 230 times they documented it last season, and 15 occurrences lot, uh, ended up in players missing time. And there's players upset about this. Um, I think the people that are upset about it because they don't trust officials. Oh, and they also augmented the eye in the sky, which everybody loves the eye in the sky. First, though, uh, Mike McCarthy. He sat down with uh, Shefty yesterday. Um, I didn't know how to take it because McCarthy's McCarthy. I mean, he, uh, he's not going to be, he's never going to rock the boat like this. But how do you think in his heart of hearts, RJ, McCarthy's doing right now? I don't think that McCarthy is, you know, bummed or anything like no, that. I, no, I, mean, I don't think that. But, I mean, your contract's expiring. You know what's going on behind the scenes. I think that he's really securing himself, it mm -hmm. seems that way, and I'm really happy for him. <laughs> and I think he he knows it's, it's a tough challenge, but he's a coach, and I think that he's kind of, he, you know, the Cowboys have obviously – been whatever in free agency for several years now and he's been able to overcome that mm -hmm. i mean i i'm not saying he's the best coach or anything ever but he's been able to make lemonade in ways that his predecessor wasn't and so i think he enjoys that challenge and i think he's looking forward to it and i think he views it as a challenge he doesn't view it as the sky is falling in any mm -hmm. way shape or form because right. he has control over it and that is one of the things i do appreciate about mccarthy is he does bring experience outside of the dallas cowboys circus tent and he talked about having to be in the nfc east and watch every other team around him you, you know philadelphia specifically but the commanders have taken a few of his guys and New York's still New York. Here's what he thinks about the rest of this conference getting better while they're kind of idle. Well, I have a lot of experience in not being active in veteran free agency, so I, I guess uh, it doesn't, doesn't bother me as much. But, no, I, I think it's like anything, and it, it really is. I mean, you're working on your roster 365 days a year, and, and that's always been a reality. And I think as a coach, I've really always focused on the guys I know are going to be there uh, in, in the offseason program because, you know, you really do have a chance to – to improve as a football team. You know, I'm a big believer in a second and third year jump. You know, we have some young players. We got some guys coming back off of IR that were young players that we're excited about. So we are definitely improving. You know, we're just we're just not part of the uh, free agent market right now. Uh, we owe a break. I, I want to talk about that in particular, and I want your insight as the managing editor of Blogging the Boys on that second to third year jump. Is that is there any justification what he just said and, you know, behind not going and getting vets from guys on their roster. We're also going to hear McCarthy talking about Dak and its offseason on the other side. So hold on tight. We're going to talk about what we're hearing from McCarthy next. This is the Morning Huddle, and you're on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Talk. Nothing beats March Madness. The pure sound of a swish. The rattle of a slam dunk. The fans on their feet for the big moments. And the action just keeps getting better until a national champion is crowned. Hear all the action with Westwood One's exclusive coverage of the NCAA men's and women's tournaments right here. On 94.1, San Antonio Sports Star and San Antonio's ESPN 1250. Folks, quality is a huge deal. It's what I look for when I recommend something to my listeners. It means you can depend on it. Quality means it won't let you down. It's something you can be proud of. Well, that's the definition of a Kinetico water softener. With other water softener brands, you just never know. Maybe they work half the time or they're just plain junk. A Kinetico water softener is up to 80% more efficient than competing models and will be the last water softener you'll ever own. That's because you're buying quality and it's backed up with an outstanding 10-year warranty too. If you're ready to enjoy all the benefits that come with quality, bring home a Kinetico water softener. Call the team at Kinetico at 656-PURE or online at KineticoSA.com. That's 656-P-U-R-E or KineticoSA.com and tell them, Dave. Dave Ramsey sent you. The last water softener you'll ever own. Call 656 Pure Kinetico. 
My brother-in-law died suddenly, and now my sister and her kids have to sell their home. That's why I told my husband we could not put off getting life insurance any longer. An agent offered us a 10-year, $500,000 policy for nearly $50 a month. Then we called SelectQuote. SelectQuote found us identical coverage for only $19 a month, a savings of $369 a year. Whether you need a $500,000 policy or a $5 million policy, SelectQuote could save you more than 50% on term life insurance. For your free quote, call SelectQuote at 1-800-452-5050. That's 1-800-452-5050. Or go to SelectQuote.com. 1-800-452-5050. That's 1-800-452-5050. SelectQuote. We shop. You save. Details on example rate at SelectQuote.com. Texting enrolls you in a reoccurring automated text messages. Consent not required to purchase. Message and data rates may apply. Hey, Dan, how you doing? Haven't seen you around the gym for a while. Yeah, I've really fallen off. Since I turned 40, I just don't get the results I used to get. Could be lower testosterone. Lower T. Yeah, I went through it a while back. Once you hit 40, your body has less free testosterone. I got Nugenics Total T, and it's made a huge difference for me. I've seen that ad on TV. Is it for real? Oh, yeah. The patented key ingredient is something called Testafin, which helps boost free and total testosterone levels to help you trim up and stay lean. And it's made a difference for you? Man, I feel like I'm in my 20s again at work, in the gym, and in the bedroom. Are they still giving out complimentary bottles for people to try it for themselves? Yeah, you just need to send them a text. Text PREP to 42424 right now for your complimentary bottle of Nugenix Total Tea, the number one selling testosterone booster at GNC. Plus, text now and we'll include a bottle of Nugenix Thermo, our most powerful fat incinerator ever to help you get back into shape fast, absolutely free. Text PREP to 42424. That's PREP to 42424. Get in AutoZone, AutoZone. Welcome to AutoZone. What are you working on today? Brakes? We can save you 15% on that. We have OE quality Duralask brake pads and rotors in stock, ready for pickup or delivery. We also have calipers, brake fluid, tools, and anything else you'll need to do the job right. When you get Duralask pads and rotors together, you'll save 15%. It's just part of what makes us America's number one brakes destination. Get in zone, AutoZone. At Target, count on our great deals just in time for Easter. Save $5 when you spend $30 on toys with Target Circle so you can fill their baskets with fun, like cuddly stuffed animals or 50-piece sidewalk chalk, all from only $5. Add an Easter chocolate phase at BOGO 50% off from Cadbury to Reese's Mini Eggs and more. And get great family pics with new Easter looks. It's easy with 20% off dresses, polos, and more. Hop in fast for our best Easter deals, only at Target. Restrictions apply. Have pain? Have chronic pain, low back pain, knee pain, neck pain, or shoulder pain? I can help. I'm Dr. Torres at the Institute for Functional Health, and we get to the root of your pain. We don't just give pain medications. We do the proper investigation to see what is the root cause, and it's covered by your insurance. Reduce your medication, avoid surgery, and get rid of pain for good. Call for your free evaluation. I'm Dr. Torres at the Institute for Functional Health, where we get to the root cause of your problem. 210-468-1891. Want to see the dedication and discipline it takes to become a world champion boxer? Witness 21 to 1 world ranked Gio Cabrera, trained by the legendary Freddie Roach, who's worked with the likes of champion Manny Pacquiao, Miguel Cotto, and Julio Cesar Chavez. Come to training exhibition and fan experience at Smoke Texas and Sky Bar, located at 501 East Crockett in downtown San Antonio. Free to the public. Thursday, March 28th, starting at 5 p.m. Go to dmpboxing.com. Brought to you by Everlast, Quintana Rum, and Desi Martinez Promotions. Check out the 2024 Basketball Mayhem at sasportstar.com. Enter your best bracket for the chance to win an incredible $1 million prize at sasportstar.com. It's the morning huddle here on San Antonio Sports Star. I got some tickets I'm going to give away today. You know, we're headed toward the blockbuster season at the movies. We're almost yeah. there. Summer uh, blockbusters. Yeah, that, yeah. And uh, the first that's hitting here is Godzilla. He's taking on King Kong yet again. I'm going to bet the over on Kong just from previous experience. But uh, if you want to go see it, I've got a pair of tickets to go see it. I'm going to send some Fandango codes to to the winner. I'm not giving away now. So if you're grabbing your device, suckers. Uh, but we will do it just after the 7 o'clock. About, about, about uh, I'm going to say 7.20. 725 
Uh, we, uh, we're going to talk some silver and black in just a minute. But first, let's talk some silver and blue. Uh, Mike McCarthy uh, sat down for the first time. You know, I, I, I asked you the other day, have anybody seen McCarthy? You know, we, we, we've seen Stephen and Jerry out and about at the different places. But McCarthy's been kind of laying low for a lot of reasons, I bet. Uh, but he did sit with Shefty yesterday. And, and what I took away from it, it just seemed like a company guy doing company things on company time. You know, he worked for a corporation up there in Green Bay. So he's used to, for, to with, for franchises not to go get guys, you know. Green Bay didn't go get free agents. Not while he was well, there. They had Aaron. They didn't need to do a whole lot. They did get Julius Peppers. That's the one dude they did get. They got but Peppers? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. And, and also, it was a different time, and free agency was done a little bit different back when he was there. So, you know, just an everyday gig. Do you really think that, uh, you know, I, I like when he's he talked about, you know, talent acquisition is a daily thing. But he talked about the, can fans feel comfortable with what Steven and uh, Jerry have done in the offseason? Can we uh, hang our hats on their activity? As well, we... I think that, and also, it's, I mean, there's, there's, a lot, there's a lot left. So, I mean, it's, you know, you'll probably have a market right before the draft or post-draft, and then you got your June 1st market, and, you know, obviously we'll have another draft class. So, I have great confidence in our roster. He has great confidence, RJ. I, I don't. I'm not going to make fun of Mike for speaking about this part of the year because this isn't his job. Right. And it, it shouldn't be. No, He's I agree. not the general manager of the team. And I, I think that the general manager of the team owes him, you know, an, a, a thank you card, a, a dinner, you know what I mean? Because he, a lot of people, I think, in Mike's position would be a lot more surly about the way he's being treated. But he's being a good soldier. He's being a good company man. And he's, you know, going along with what the Cowboys want. He doesn't have to do that. People forget Mike has had more success than the Cowboys have in the last 15 years. And he doesn't flaunt that in their face the way, you know, the way Sean Payton would. Sean would <laughs> definitely, true. you know, be rubbing it in their face. You know, that is one thing you can't. And that's one primary reason why Sean Payton has never been a, a Cowboy coach, even though there's a lot of us. A lot of guys who sat in this chair in this room have advocated uh, for Sean Payton over the years. McCarthy did talk about, you know, finding the sit himself in this situation. If he feels any added pressure, the contract, uh, the time is uh, ticking away. I mean, I think as a coach, you really, you know, every year is, this, I mean, it's the same. I mean, let's, let's be honest. And that's the way it's always been. You know, this is uh, personally, I've been in this spot. This will be the third time, you know, and it's, and it's worked out, you know, f very well for me. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not really concerned about it. How has it worked out well for him previously? I mean, and I mean, it turned into bigger contracts. Did it go like yeah, a contract to expire and went to a Super Bowl kind of stuff? How, when he says that, what does he mean? Personally, financially, what? He just wasn't fired. You know, he's oh, okay. turned it into more work. I mean, and that's what I'm saying. Like, he could be a real jerk about this. He could, he could really kind of, you know, lay them out mm -hmm. and say a lot of things. And he's not. And I, I think that that's, you know, an indication of his character. And so good for him. But a lot of other people would be saying, yeah, I mean, it's pretty ridiculous, you know, <laughs> I take, taking this team to the playoffs three years in a row. And, you know, obviously, you know, we haven't done what we want to do, but that's more than, you know, literally anybody around here for a very, very long time can say. And they're they're treating me like I'm chopped liver. What do you make of the uh, second, third year jump that Mike McCarthy's a big believer in? And who's the guy that we I mean, that we should be waiting on that third year jump? There used to be this old adage that wide receivers really blew up in their third year. They, by then, they were really accustomed to the NFL. And Des Bryant was a great example of that. And in 2012 was when he kind of put it all together after, you know, kind of figuring things out in 2010 and 2011. Um, he's, he's the most notable example. Now, a lot of these players just hit the ground running because you have mm -hmm. to. But, I mean, along those lines, I mean – that specific line of wide receiver, I mean, Jalen Tolbert comes to mind. He's a third-year wide receiver, and they're obviously counting on yeah. him. But if he doesn't work out, they're pretty screwed. And, I mean, so you, it kind of – it's it's an old adage for a reason because right. it's easy to find players to come in and contribute right away. Uh, Tolbert uh, might be a, a one year ahead of Maisie, but it's feeling very much the same. 
We're waiting it's, for the blossom. Eventually, you but, know, the light will turn they, on. But they draft it. really well, Rob. They do. And, I, I mean, they, they keep they, telling They, they draft really well. Even though all these important guys who we're talking about haven't done anything, they draft really, really, really well. You know, back about eight years ago, they found an MVP candidate in the fourth round. So we got that going for us. Uh, we're going to continue talking about that guy, Dak, and uh, his relationship with McCarthy and whether he thinks things will get done. But coming back, no Wimby, no problem. Thanks, Jeremy. You were due. We'll talk Spurs next. When you think San Antonio sports, think 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. Your home for the Cowboys. KTFM Floorsville and SASportsStar.com. Do you want the most money for your used car and a hassle-free process? Give me the VIN. We'll beat your written CarMax offer or write you a check for 100 bucks. It's that simple. Give me the VIN is fast, easy, reliable, and pays top dollar for your car. It's that simple. Give me the VIN is A-plus rated by the BBB. Get an instant cash offer and the most money for your used car right now at GiveMeTheVIN.com. America's best car buyer. Sell us your car. Listen to this station anytime, anywhere on Odyssey. Odyssey is your new audio home for all the music, news, sports, and podcasts that matter to you. Odyssey. That's A U D A C Y. Buyers Barricades is proud to provide traffic control, rental, and sales for work zones and events in the San Antonio area and beyond. Buyers Barricades, the Texas authority in barricade rental. Learn more online at buyersbarricades.com. That's buyersbarricades.com. Tired of hearing scary radio ads about the IRS? Tax Relief Advocates is different. TRA is here to tell you that if you owe money to the IRS, whether it's $5,000 or $500,000, we have a solution. TRA can eliminate or reduce what you owe to the IRS with zero risk to you. If we can't reduce your tax debt, then you pay nothing. We have a five-star rating on Google and Yelp and an A-plus with a BBB. End your tax nightmare today by visiting TRA.com or call 800-583-6580. That's 800-583-6580. Now, during Staples Print Pig Sale, get $20 off your print purchase of $100 or more, $50 off your print purchase of $200 or more, and $100 off your print purchase of $300 or more. So, the more you print at Staples, the more you save. To demonstrate, print, print, print at Staples, you save, save, save. But if you print, 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 print at Staples, you save, 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 save. See how that works. Staples Print Pig Sale. Print more, save more. Up to $100. Ends for six. Visit staples.com slash print for details. Let's listen in on a modern-day marriage proposal. The players lift their smartphones. The young man pledges his true love to the woman of his dreams. She accepts. They exchange kissing emojis. There are some hearts. Very nice. Oh, well, look at this. He's putting his phone down. I don't believe it. He's got a box from Diamonds Direct. Well, now she puts her phone down. Oh, unbelievable. That, folks, shows how special a diamond from Diamonds Direct is. Two people have put their phones down. He slips the Diamonds Direct diamond on her finger. She kisses him. Human contact, ladies and gentlemen. Who knew a Diamonds Direct diamond was capable of revolutionizing the virtual universe? And look at this. Her phone is ringing and she's still looking at her Diamonds Direct diamond. What's next? Tweets from actual birds? Amazing things really do happen when you give her a diamond from Diamonds Direct. Come in today and see how we can help you download real emotion. Details, store hours, and more at DiamondsDirect.com. Your love, our passion. When it's time for the March Mania brackets, the bus wide open. As I was saying, it's mad. The Mania of March at BetUS.com is all about those buzzer beats. Florida Soppers. And when the madness starts in Cinderella, man steps under the... BetUS always has your back with... To back to back 125% sign up bonuses on your first three deposits and even 10% gambler's insurance. BetUS.com Sportsbook and Casino, where the game begins. Join today, BetUS Sportsbook and Casino, where the game begins. Some days I cover up because of my moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. Now I'm hitting the road with clearer skin thanks to Sky Rizzy, Rizm Kism of Rizza, a prescription only 150 milligram injection for adults who are candidates for systemic or phototherapy. With Sky Rizzy, three out of four people achieved 90% clearer skin at four months. And Sky Rizzy is just four doses a year after two starter doses. 
Don't use if allergic to Skyrisi. Serious allergic reactions and an increased risk of infections or a lower ability to fight them may occur. Before treatment, your doctor should check for infection and tuberculosis. Tell your doctor if you have an infection or symptoms, such as fever, sweats, chills, muscle aches, or cough, or if you plan to or recently received a vaccine. Thanks to Skyrisi, there's nothing on my skin, and that means everything. Ask your doctor today about SkyRizzy prescribed biologic in psoriasis. And visit SkyRizzy.com or call 1-866-SKYRizzy to learn more. Hey, poker players, the Big Blind is open with a true Vegas feel. The Big Blind is the premier poker room in San Antonio, featuring an upscale environment catering to players from all abilities. Whether you are seeking high-octane tournaments or lively cash games, the Big Blind has a game for everyone. The Big Blind at 281 in Redland Road, just down from the Roo Pub, offers daily cash games to daily, weekly, and monthly tournaments. Learn more online at TheBigBlindSA.com. The Big Blind at 281 in Redland Road. San Antonio's Sports Star. San Antonio's Sports Center. Monday night, the San Antonio Spurs went into the Phoenix Suns game 1-7 and seven without the big baguette, Victor Wimbanyama. That changed. Uh, they're now 2-7. and seven. They allowed 127 points without freshman, the Frenchman, and despite being without him, they did win 104-102 thanks to Jeremy Sohan's late three-point field goal to take the lead with 30 seconds remaining. Ball, Caitlin Clark won again. Rembignano three, good! Goes behind the back here. Oh, little sidestep and a jam by Rembignano. This is the morning huddle on 94-1. San Antonio Sports Star with Rob Thompson and the managing editor of Blogging the Boys, RJ Ochoa. Now, here's Rob and RJ. Who'd you rather be today? Me, feeling a little dry. No, no. Um, the Phoenix Suns, after losing uh, to the Spurs on the road, the way they did. Or anything else. I don't know. I was going to pair him to Shohei. I think Shohei's in a deeper uh, bucket of crap uh, than Phoenix is. But, man, what an embarrassing loss. You know, I'm all about a win, but, oh, my goodness. Uh, the Phoenix uh, Suns strolled into a game last night and got beaten uh, by dudes that won a little bit more. Uh, this is the Morning Huddle every day at 7 o'clock. We talk silver and black. It is our daily podcast. Make sure you are subscribed in the appropriate fashion. You put a thumb on it and then uh, liked it on the appropriate way to ensure that all get their just desserts. That's RJ Ochoa. I am Rob Thompson. Uh, we gather together like this every morning from 6 to 10 under the faithful direction of Edwin Hefner. We are here to uh, uh, entertain and to inform. Let's do that. Uh, so, um, wow, what a win. <laughs> I was talking to my brother yesterday on the way home, and he's I'm up from the golf tournament, and I'm, you know, what's going on? We're kind of catching up with each other. And he goes, oh, yeah, I've headed to the game. I go, man, that's kind of a letdown. It's like, what? Why? I said, no Wimby. What? I said, yeah. You know, he looked like he'd kind of hit the wall on Saturday. I'm not really surprised, but uh, he evidently tweaked his ankle and uh, took the night off. And, you know, I, I think we all kind of expected a rerun of Saturday night, but that's not what we got. A an inspired performance by uh, Keldon, an inspired performance by uh, Devin, who bounced off of a pretty lousy performance. And Kel and uh, uh, we got, can't give enough love to Jeremy hitting a jump shot. Uh, with three, uh, about 30 to go to take the lead and win the football basketball game. Well done, Spurs. Uh, it's those unexpected little gifts that kind of, I guess, keep you involved with the team as they wind it down. Yeah, as somebody who went to the game on Saturday night, I'm in no way jealous of the fact that they completely and totally folded um, and then showed up with the fight of all fights on Monday night, a random night seemingly relative to everything else. Um, we had talked about this yesterday. My parents were in the golf tournament. They yeah. had a lot of fun. Um, and they went to the game. And so obviously I knew they were going. And so I, when I saw everything, I texted them. I said, Hey, I'm, I'm really sorry. There's no Wimby tonight. They were all bummed. Um, well, you know, I, I, I think I would have traded spots with them, traded games with them. I mean, Holy crap. Um, do you want to play our favorite win probability game here? Yes. 30 so seconds, the, <laughs> 27 the, seconds to go. The Spurs actually held a positive win probability for most of the fourth quarter. Um, despite best efforts so no i mean they were the it, the game was in hand in fact with um 
four minutes and 17 seconds to go. All right, four, so four minutes and 17 seconds. <laughs> they held a 94.2% win probability, dispersed it, when they were up 99, 91. That dipped so far and so fast that by two minutes and 29 seconds being left on the clock, the Suns, who had then gone on, you know, had scored nine unanswered, uh, were up 100 to 99. They held a 53.8% win probability. So in the span of two minutes, and ultimately retook control right at 29 seconds uh, with Jeremy Sohan's three pointer. Uh, you know, um, it, so, in these kind of things, I don't know where to focus because I think Kevin Durant kind of summed up his career last night uh, um, in that in a kind of a disinterested loss. You know, the, it's funny when you see teams try to turn it on late, like, oh no, they're, they're going to beat us. And, you know, Phoenix did everything they could to come back. It was just too deep of a hole. And uh, Jeremy. I mean, so there are shots when you when you're coaching defense, they go, yeah, we'll live with that. <laughs> you know, Jeremy taking a three to win the basketball game. That's a shot that Phoenix would have lived with. The lightning just kind of struck him. But the win was there. And Pop um, talked about how special Jeremy was last night. And he was everything he was drafted uh, to be against the Suns. KD is such a difficult matchup for everybody. You know, he's one of the greatest ever and uh, Jeremy never stopped working his butt off. I mean, he's very physical and uh, did everything he could to guard a great player. So he deserves a lot of credit. And he also hit the board for us. And he had about, I don't, I didn't see the, I think 16, 17 boards, I think uh, tonight. Was it? Yeah. Career high. So he was, he was very special. I noticed despite the three that we're all talking about, everything pop brought up was the reason he was drafted. The KD stopper, the defense, the boards, the glue. Um, that was Jeremy last night. Spectacular. I mean, would you go as far as saying his best game as a spur? Uh, well, you know, in yes. And Keldon um, had an inspired performance. And Devin, the decision making uh, and bouncing back off of a bad game. Uh, and let's let's talk about the elephant in the room. I know they're only two and seven without him. And I know there's a tremendous difference of uh the way, uh, you know, the defensive numbers. I mean, it's obvious that Victor is uh, the rookie of the year, the future of the Spurs, uh, soon to be the face of the league. It's obvious. It's coming. But why in the last two games do the old dudes suddenly look like the old dudes with fun and vigor without him? It's a good question. You know, I mean... She, yeah, because I, I, the answer is someplace I don't think we want to go or should well, take go. us there. Well, no, I mean, there's a couple of things. Well, first of all, I think Sean Elliott pointed it out. I think if you're the Phoenix Suns and you're in the layup line and you look over and you see Victor and designer Givenchy gear, uh, you're like, hey, this just might be a little bit easy. So you, you kind of let your guard down. And I do think in that first half, as I turned over and I even turned to my my uh, dog who, is, you know, I'm trying to teach her the finer points of the game. And I turn and said, Avery, um, it is hard to watch bad NBA basketball in March right after I watched an overtime defensive struggle, Texas A&M in Houston. Literally within 24 hours, I watch a bunch of NBA guys standing around just kind of like staring at each other, not playing defense and just letting the Spurs kind of dribble through them. I mean, it was the most uninspired half of basketball I've seen in a long time by a basketball team. And Vogel needs to be questioned. If I was a Suns fan, I would be like, what the hell was that? But that's, a, you know, I ain't them, so I ain't going to go there. So I do think there was a, a little bit of uh, the, the the Suns allowing the, the, the young dudes to kind of express themselves in ways that maybe Victor won't or can't. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Because this is the existential question about this season. It's it's really difficult to just drop in a player as talented as Wemby, right? Like it's it's not as simple as oh, new player here, everybody good, boom. You know what I mean? And you know. I, Throughout the game last night, before they almost blew it, when when they were kind of crushing the Suns, there was a a lot of chatter I saw on Spurs Twitter with people saying things like, you, you know, the young guys are having fun. Yeah, right? like that's it, what it, you it, hate there, to hear, right? 
well, there was this like sense of, oh man, they're they just you know the the adults are out of the room, the the kids are playing kind of thing, and I don't know why that can't happen with him. You know, I I don't know. Does is, does he stifle the fun? I don't does, think does... he stifles it. I think you're kind of walking on eggshells. You brought it up in in pre-show as we were talking about this, and I thought this is just valuable. Um, they see they see what we're saying. They might not admit it. And even the, the Spurs have even talked in the last week. Did you read this about how they've really stressed? Put your phones down, man. Live in the world, the, the, the tangible right now. Live with us. I put you know They're trying to get the kids away from socials because I do think that Pop is preaching one thing and they're reading in the socials you know, all this other stuff and suddenly the one thing is not there and they can just go, Keldon looked like they had won a playoff game last night. Did you, did you see him? I mean, well, I, I know that's that his personality, but I'm not saying that they resent Wendy. No, 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 I'm not going there either. I, no, I think they probably get annoyed at the attention that he gets and how he gets all of the credit and none of the blame, you know, generally speaking, because there's definitely some credit that belongs on other shoulders, and there's definitely a lot of blame that belongs on Wimby. We talk about that all the time. Mm-hmm. His turnovers, his three point game, Speaking um, of, and, oh. and his, you know, his seemingly shying away from work as a big, right? So I think that they probably might feel okay. You know what? Let's let's just this is this is a carpe diem sort of game. You know what I mean? Like let let's just go see. Let's go experiment. Let's go be weird. Let's go have fun. And there, there's a great liberty to that. I mean, and, and we've the sample size isn't massive, but it isn't as minute as possible. And that there's is a trend. interesting. Yeah, there's a trend. It, it's not a definite, but there is a trend well, that when they're I mean, only two and seven. But and there's some things in here. You know, the, the Suns are, requ- are responsible for nearly a quarter of the Spurs wins. Uh, Pledge jumped in on the brigade bar. I want you to bring on Money Paradox. Put him back up on the on the lead there, Edwin, because I want to talk about what he what he had to say. They play faster without Wimby. Not saying better. They just play faster. And I do think there's some some of that is definitely true because they know each other a little bit better. They're a couple years together, uh, so there is a, a speed quotient that you just pick up from uh, comfortability. So I uh, completely agree with that. But you know, I want to juxtapose Victor and Caitlin. Because I do think they represent two different archetypes of greatness. Because Caitlin has the Kobe gene, has the Michael gene. She's going to get you there. She's going to carry you there. You know, you watch her in Iowa last night. It was it was cutthroat. Somebody else won the game, but Caitlin scored more than half their points. It, it is Caitlin and the Caitlinettes. And we can't name a Caitlinette. It doesn't matter, though. They compliment her perfectly because they know she is taking them there. They're there to help, but they understand like there's some players in the in the world that when they get the ball, the reason the play was called was for them to go score. Mm-hmm. And then there's other players in the world when a play is called, the play is called for the team to go score. It might be you that gets it, and odds on you'll be the one. But once you understand it's about everybody and you, then everything will work. Wimby is kind of in this age of uh, of comparisons. If I'm comparing Caitlin to Kobe and Michael, I'm com- tr- comparing Wimby to LeBron. LeBron has always made people better. Always got guys around him. He's there to improve. He's a pass first point guard and a, and a power forward body. That's what he's always been. And the, the, the comparison there to Wimby, I think, is awfully close. Wimby's there to make other guys better. He knows he's great. But he has more fun dropping a dime sometimes than he does scoring. You can see it. And that's okay. But you're going to have to accept the fact that some of these guys are going to, even though he wants to share, he is still the first option. And I think he's having to learn, if I'm going to be a team guy, i got to be more of a team guy. And first and foremost, if I'm handling the ball and doing all this, we only had seven turnovers last night. Seven. I'll tell you what, I mean, if you look at the Spurs victories over the last five years, if they're under 10, they win. Most teams do. So while he, we're missing Wimby, some of the errors, some of just the, the stupidity that we bitch about, it's Wimby. Now, we place some of the blame on other dudes, 
but we only had seven turnovers with these guys guys last night. And at the end of the day, that's the answer. I think it's interesting because there aren't there isn't a large sample size, right, of success without him. Just it's just it hasn't happened a lot, right? We it's happened twice. But it's interesting looking at the Suns games. And granted, this you know, any Spurs team owns the Suns. You know, I mean, whatever. So that that <laughs> is a is the prerequisite, I suppose. But how they played this exact Suns team twice in a span of forty eight hours, once with and once without him, right? Like we're not talking about a performance against a different team. We're talking about a performance against the exact same team, and so it's interesting to kind of like measure them up. You know, it is an one apples another. to apples comparison, right? Like that's that's my point. Like you don't get that often to where you can actually look at it that way, and it's it's hard to be an et. You talked about the Caitlin Etts. It's hard to be a Wemby. It's et, a skill. I guess. It's a skill. Well, it, it goes back to what, what the Derek White you know conversation about moving without the ball, mm-hmm. and and you know not everybody is skilled at that. And I don't I don't fault Jeremy for not being skilled at that or Devin for not being skilled at that because this whole thing happened and changed and you know was unpredictable. But it's nobody had to be an et last night. They got to be a team. You know what I mean? Like they, you know, they, they yeah, were they were it's... not a, you know, they they were an orchestra. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. they, they were an orchestra. And with, all the with other first chairs got to play a little bit of a solo. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. As opposed to, you know, the, the main dude who goes up and, and does the soul and everybody just does background ambient, you know, harmonies. And so it I think you see a different energy. And that's not like a demerit against them. It's just human nature. Uh, I, comp- I think there's strange. all of that there. And I don't want to place too much on just a couple of wins. Um, but Jeremy did talk about what the team minus Wimby has to do. Yeah, I think it's just understanding, um, you know, he's a key piece that we're missing. And I think that makes, you know, and we need to be more connected in that sense if if, if we're missing him. So uh, just, you know, the, we, we got to do stuff he, he does. Where that's defense, you know, rebounding, um, making it difficult for people to score in the paint. Um, and, you know, because we don't have him as a key piece, you know, we have to be connected. Uh, we got to help each other more. Um, and play fast. So, yeah. Uh, I think the speed was brought up by Money Paradox on the Brigade Bar. And play fast. And I think it's a lot easier to play fast with those three guys because they know each other a little bit more. And uh, speaking of, Jeremy, congratulations. He will be a proud member of the Polish Olympic contingent, um, as it was announced over the last couple of days. He was extraordinary, and he was everything that we wanted out of Jeremy. But uh, I think the takeaway was the freedom that we saw those guys play with, whether it's familiarity because they've been around each other long enough to do some things that, you know, Wimby, whether by fault or by design, kind of gets in the way of. But the exuberance of he ain't here, let's have some fun, that's something we got to fix. There should be, oh, no, what are we going to do without him? There should be panic, not like, thank God he's not going to be here tonight. Let's have some fun. It also is, I mean, why can't it be fun with him? You know, that's just like, that's that's my only real question. Why can't you be, why can't there be fun with, and, and I don't put that on them or I don't put that on Wendy. I put that on Pop. Yes. I mean, you know, why why can't you recreate this with Wendy in the fold? Because I mean, teach, teach Wendy the, the huh? you know, the, you know, the, the body language or the whatever that they have, the secret sauce. Like, you know, why is he this outsider? That That's the way it looks. I know it's not that way, but that's the way it looks in moments like this. But a bit of real talk. Um, it's Wimby's way or the highway. <laughs> it's not like, oh, Victor, you're going to have to adjust. These poor guys just play better when you're gone. Uh, that's not the conversation that's being had. The conversation is, you better adjust your altitude and play free and happy with him, or you're going to be playing free and happy someplace else. So let's not take away the fact that, oh, Wimby's going to have to adjust. These these poor other guys have been stifled. No, no. I put it squarely on everybody else. Now, Wimby, you're going to have to do some things a little bit better. And one of the most important takeaway is, hold on to the damn ball. Stop turning it over. Stop it. 
I don't care if it stifles your offense, if it forces you to pass it to Jeremy a little bit more often, but stop the damn turnovers. We won without you against Kevin Durant, Devin Booker. We won without you. You know why? Because we didn't wow. have you kicking the ball out of bounds. We didn't have you headed at the ball to everybody around you. Let's relax because no, they also this, this uh, is no, well, no. I mean, like they almost blew it. I well, mean, so did. let's all, let, let's also you know calm down but just a little bit on that front because and the turnovers matter, and that, that's what Pop's talking about. He ain't talking about man. We got to replicate this free and easy. No, it's a whole lot easier when our star isn't turning the ball over every other possession. So yeah, we're uh, gonna talk about free and easy and a happy Devin and Jeremy were. No, they were winning because Victor wasn't turning the damn ball over, not because he wasn't there. They also almost lost. I mean, they allowed the Suns to put up game-winning shots. You know what I'm saying? Well, like, I could parse that know, as they came back and, you know, a, a valiant effort to win. No, all I'm saying is, you know, they were hazardous and chaotic at the same mm -hmm. time as being fun and loose. You know, they weren't <laughs> just fun and, and loose. They, they, there was a lot of, you know, turmoil that, that was encircling the game and the finish in the fourth quarter because of their inexperience. I mean, there were several times throughout the fourth quarter was like, oh yeah, these dudes, this is who they are. They they can't hang on. They don't have the, you know, veteranness or whatever required to to put a game away like this. And they almost lost it several times, if not for the almost. dude who hadn't hit a three-pointer since you went la and last it's bought more. milk. I mean, you know, like they would have lost. I love the way you put something that coaches would have put on a chalkboard that is the definable difference between average and good and good and great. Hazardous and chaotic versus having fun. Mm -hmm. Because finding that fine line is the key to success. You put it exactly. Hazardous and chaotic and having fun because having fun lends itself to being hazardous and chaotic for most of us. I know for me it does. Yeah, I mean... And well, chaos can be fun. And it, it, we had the success of that chaos. last night. But yeah. I don't want anybody to take away the conversation that we're having. Like, oh, you know, Victor, you're going to have to adjust to these guys. That ain't that ain't the conversation. Victor, stop turning the ball over. Everybody else, you need to find that free and easy fun when Victor's on there. Or you're going to be playing somebody else. Somewhere <laughs> else. Part of a deal. I found out. We, we're we're going to talk about the Spurs in, in the 8 o'clock hour. Um I want to make sure I get the precise time because, you know, we're setting appointments. Um, okay. <laughs> we're we're going to get to the Spurs in just about exactly an hour at 830. Um, okay. And when we do, I, I want to get into another facet of what happens without Wimby and where we're going because there are some questions that need to be answered as we head into uh, the, uh, the, the scouting period for the Spurs. Uh, make sure you're here at 8.30. But we're glad you're here right now. Um, before we break off this uh, talking silver and black, I want to give away some tickets. I promised them. Uh, King Do Kong it. is yet again taking on Godzilla. I don't know how many give of the... Uh, is, that, uh, uh, is that the... But that kind of... I got a silverback gorilla move. I, I got that down, man. If you want to see... I used to make my boys laugh. I could walk... <laughs> I could roll in like a... Uh, but if you want to go... <laughs> If you want to go see King Kong versus Godzilla, I got a bunch of Fandango codes. I think that means something. I don't know. But if you want one of these oh. Fandango codes uh, that I guess gives you admittance to a movie theater near you, uh, you can win them right now. Uh, get on your device, 656-3776. 656-ESPN to you and me. And caller number six is going to go see Godzilla X Kong. That's what it says right here. Uh, the new Empire uh, movie theater. Oh, you're going to go to a specific theater. It's the new Empire theaters. Uh, it's this Friday, March the 29th, and we're sending you uh, some Fandango code. So you're going to need the appropriate nomenclature and email address to win such things. Hold on tight. Caller number six is going to see uh, King Kong versus Godzilla. Did you know I wrote an entire term paper on Godzilla and got an A? I don't think, I don't think anybody knew that. But now well, we who all would? Do. It's been, well, I've been waiting to share this for nearly 40 years. And I, I got an A. So if you want to have a, a deep discussion about the omnipresent schadenfreude of a nuclear threat and what how Godzilla represents that, we could if we wanted to. But I don't. I'm sure you don't. Either. Instead, um, 
let's talk about gambling. Let's talk about something serious because it's getting ugly. Let's uh, it's hit the NBA as well. Uh, Shante Porter, uh, a, a power forward of little regard <laughs> with the Toronto Raptors, uh, had some money laid on his unders. Uh, we'll talk about what that means coming up around the corner. Uh, you're on 94.1, and this is San Antonio Sports Star. I hope you're running around on a Tuesday morning feeling good. No pain keeping you out of the game. If that's you, keep it to yourself and carry on. We're happy for you. But if you're like most of us, you're dealing with something that's keeping you out of the game, something painful that just won't let you be what you want to be. And if that's you, listen close. You don't have to live this way. Arosti providers are out there to fix you. Their very existence is predicated on their ability to get you out of pain in ways that you're not accustomed to. I mean, not about surgery or no pills to hide the pain or dull it even though the problem isn't fixed i'm talking about your body getting fixed and when it's fixed funny how the pain goes away when you go to an arosti provider they use methods that you might have not seen at your general practitioner there's some physical therapy there's some chiropractic there's a lot of deep tissue massage a bunch of things rolled into getting you fixed and fixed fast on average arosti patients get back in the game and under four visits so what are you waiting on write this number down 1-800 404-6050. 1-800-404-6050. Their website is arosti.com. Now, I love the website. Lots of tips and tricks to keep it healthy. But what they have is there is a map of all the providers, and they're adding them all the time. I bet there's one less than 10 minutes from where you are right now. They accept most insurances, and you never need a referral to go. 1-800-404-6050. The website, arosti.com. Listen to me. Don't let pain keep you from doing things that you love. Call Arosti. They're going to get you fixed, and when they do, I want you to thank me later. 94 1 San Antonio Sports Star is your home for college basketball's national championship. On their way to their 12th national title game. 68 teams, Sweet 16, Elite 8, the Final Four, one winner takes all. Hear it all on your home for March Madness. 94 1 San Antonio Sports Star, presented by Westwood One. Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA. And go to gawon'twait.com. Heard the catchphrase that's sweeping the nation? Jackson, Hugh, yeah. People are saying Jackson, Hugh, yeah to Jackson Hewitt because they love saving money on tax prep. Do you love saving money? Then switch to Jackson Hewitt today and pay less than last year. Thousands of people have already made the switch. Why haven't you? Stop waiting and start filing. You won't get a better deal or a better catchphrase. All together now. Jackson Hugh, yeah! Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. Find what you love. Love what you find. A total wine and more. There's so much waiting for you. Spirits and beer. Thousands of wines. Walk right through the door. It's all here to explore. With guides in the know. When price is so low. It just might blow your mind. You're gonna find what you love and love what you find. Drink responsibly, B20. Texting privacy policy and terms and conditions posted at textplan.us. Texting rules for occurring automated text marketing messages. Message and data rates may apply. Reply stop, opt out. Minimum purchase required. Interest accrues from date of purchase, but is waived if paid within promotional period. Go to windowappointmentnow.com for full offer details. Attention homeowners. Do you know when to replace your windows? Feeling too hot or cold? Fog between the glass. Spending too much on expensive energy that literally goes out the window? It's time to replace. And right now, you can get a free in-home window consultation and free price quote from Renewal by Anderson. Plus, with our March 31-day sales event, you can save 300 
$277 off every window and $777 off every door when you buy four or more units. Just text PROJECT to 200-300 for your free consultation on top quality affordable windows or patio doors for no dollars down, no monthly payments, and no interest for a year. That's right, you don't pay a dime for an entire year. Text PROJECT to 200-300 to save $377 off every window and $777 off every door when you buy four or more units. Hurry, this incredible 31-day sales offer is only in March. Text PROJECT to 200-300. Text the word PROJECT to 200-300. PROJECT to 200-300. Hi, my name's Jason Thompson. I've lived in San Antonio for more than 50 years. Went to grade school, high school, and graduated from law school right here. San Antonians have trusted me as their attorney after serious injury and fatality collision since 1994. My website is a lawyerforus.com. Why a lawyer for us? Well, after several years of practice, I watched as insurance companies created their own law firms solely to defend against auto claims. Today, there are very few insurance companies that do not have their own captive law firm filled with attorneys whose job is is to minimize what the insurance company has to pay on an auto claim. If you are a family member is injured in a traffic collision, you will need your own attorney. Just remember a lawyerforus.com. For many lawyers you see on billboards, your case will be handled by a non-lawyer or a staff lawyer. If you call me, Jason Thompson, I will be the lawyer you speak with. The initial consultation is always free. If you are a family member and needs an experienced attorney, an attorney you can trust, I want you to call me, Jason Thompson. My number is 900-0400. That's 210-900-0400 or a lawyerforus.com. Good morning, everybody. Joe Reinigle here coming up on the Blitz. The golf tournament was a great success. It's time to move on. There at the NFL owners meetings, Jerry Jones and company will get the latest from there. Any new rules passed? We'll talk about that. The Spurs had the Suns last night. We'll react to that as well. Plus, we've got taste of the north side tickets to give away. Wow, that's going to be exciting. Hey, RJ, met your parents yesterday. They're nice people. What happened to you? Wow. Thanks, Joe the Toe. I enjoyed 90 Proof post-party. I want to thank them for hosting all those that were a little uh, thirsty post-golf tournament right there off Highway 90. Great uh, establishment. I had a good time there. Let's broadcast live for a couple hours. Um, they had a crispy fried dog in there, RJ. That is uh, worth your time. Yeah. Yeah, it's worth the stop right there. Deep fried, good. Good. Uh, Congrats. We, you know, we've been talking about gambling in the broadest sense with Shohei Otani, um, accusations, uh, lies, interpreters. That's one thing. Uh, then there's hard, uh, hard data. Th- this, th- this kid that plays for the Toronto Raptors, he's kind of a bit player on that team, kind of an NBA journeyman bounced around a bit. Um, over the last month or so, there have been two instances where there was some peculiar betting to his performance, specifically the unders, uh, where a lot of money enough to where those that care noticed was late on him, not playing one. He left the game early due to an eye issue, uh, didn't finish another. He left early too. And, uh, he's been pulled out and, uh, probably, I mean, numbers show it. I don't know whether he knew it was happening, but He's in trouble. And uh, this, we heard what last week, two weeks before, uh, there was some peculiar movement on a UAB basketball game. The Temple. This is um, so the unders are the more controllable thing, right? Right. If if you're their only controllable thing, rather, right? Like Truly. if you're a player. And you know what your over under is. I mean, you can you can make sure the under hits. You can't make sure you know you can't control. You could control the amount of shots you take. I guess you could control um, like shot attempts or whatever potentially. But even then, it's a team mm-hmm. game. This smells like he knew what the under over under was, right? I mean, this is obvious, and you know. I, I mean, I don't want to say through the game. That's not the proper way to, to put this here. Um, I, we don't have the parlance for this, right? Like this isn't um, this isn't Adam Sandler's character in the longest yard where he, you know, did throw the game, whatever. Uh, this is just he he took a dive. I mean, I, again, I, I don't know the, the proper way to, to put this, but um, it seems like he knew what it was. And he said, hey, I'm going to go in. I'm going to check in and I'm going to get an eye injury. This is all alleged. Nothing is proven. But 
point shaving from J4. That's a great way to put it, maybe potentially. But even then, it's it's a maybe prop shaving. I don't, I don't know. Uh, prop influencing, but whatever. I mean, I'm sure we'll, we'll we're, we're going to reach that point as a society, Rob, because this is going to keep happening. Mm-hmm. Like, do, um, let me just ask you a straight up question, Rob. This is a safe space. Only you and me talking here. All okay. right. Uh, am I wrapped in a blanket of trust? Do you believe that an athlete has let's let's use the term point shaved? That an athlete has point shaved without getting caught so oh, yeah. far in the, I have no doubt in the era of gambling. I, I, no I don't mean hesitation. I don't mean all mind. time. I mean in this way, right? Like, there's definitely somebody who's been aware of an over under. Was like, dude, I'm, I'm I'm not feeling that well. You know, like I'm I'm only gonna play, you know, six minutes tonight. Probably. I mean, you know, even if it was as harmless as that, right? Like, this is the idea that this is definitely, definitely, definitely no way it's impossible and not happened is incredibly naive. As naive as Shohei Otani is trying to get us all to believe that he is. You know, right? I view those things kind of like a hot stock in a in a room and a guy goes, you know, I just got into this IPO. You just heard you just hear over here like, "Hey man, I just got in. This is, you know, go check this out." Kind of like you're standing in a hotel lobby and you're standing next to Wimby and you see him limp by. You go, "Well, you know, maybe yeah. by, you know, it happens that way." And or, or you're a friend of Wimby and he calls you and says, hey, you know, man, my ankle sore. I'm probably not going to play tonight. And then you call your friends. Hey, you ain't play. You know, that I agree. I mean, that, that's passive and we hate it, but we also enjoy that. Everybody loves a hot stock tip. So I'm not going to throw that in there. And then there is the family member or the, the friend that is, you know, there is they're in cahoots. Like, there ain't no way I'm playing tonight. And if I do, the game plan is ain't, ain't going to be me. Go bet it. That you could go, you could hide it in the circumference of friendship. Like you could, you could hide that in there. And I think that has happened. You know, I'm not naive. I think it's happened a lot. And those that know, no, you don't play a lot. You don't lay 15 grand on me being under eight minutes. You lay a grand. I'll do it That's again. That's thing. Like, dude, I mean, you know, um, when I, um, y'all got to hang out with my parents yesterday, when I was in high school, I think I'm okay to say this now. I had a, a part-time job, and uh, on a, on a Monday night, they called me to go into work. I was off, and they called and said, "Hey, you know, RJ, can you come in? So and so, whatever." And I didn't want to go because the Bengals were in Baltimore on Monday Night Football, and I wanted to watch that. And but I had answered the phone, so I had to come up with something like in the moment, right? I was like, "Uh, oh, my appendix just I, burst." I guess I said, I, "And I I can't go." I have to go to a baby shower with my mom. That was like the only thing I could think of in, in the mo- in the moment. All right, and uh, and they were like, "Don't lie to me." Okay, and uh, and hung up. Your best excuse was you well, had to go so, to a baby shower. It's so that's, baby that's shower become like a, a funny reference months. in my family. You know, like anytime somebody <laughs> says something stupid like that, it's like, "Oh, that's the baby shower," whatever. Um, but when I told you know, because I hung up, whatever, and I saw you know saw my mom and. I said, yeah, they called me from work, and I told them I didn't want to go. You didn't want to go. You know what I mean? Like, it turns in all this. And But well, what did you tell them? And I said, well, I told them I had to go to baby shower with you. And she was like, what? And now you brought I mean, me I, into this. Well, they were ne- my, I, I would never say that my parents told me or condoned lying. Uh, but but my mom did say, if you're going to lie, at least do it right. You know what I mean? Like, at least yes. come up with something believable. You know what I mean? And so um, to that end, it's like, okay, man, if you guys are going to do this, be cool, you know, throw a grand, throw, you know, whatever. But you guys are are throwing all this money on the mo- the most obscure prop bet that there could be. Like you're, you're, you're almost begging to get caught. Should we treat this like it's a sickness, like it's a drug addiction or should we addiction. treat this? Well, I mean, should we, we I think the, the general sensibility is, at least in the legal system, is it's a crime first and a sickness second. Um, and I think there's a lot of arguments whether it should be flipped. But um, should we treat like Shante, like uh, first infraction, like we're going to act like maybe you got a little deep or maybe there's some financial issues that, you know, whatever the extenuating circumstances, you can be rehabilitated. You can be taught and you can be monitored. We'll low jack your ass. We'll put some on your ankle. We'll put some kind of creeper thing on your phones. 
But whatever the case may be, we're going to try to get you back in the fold. Or is it a one strike and you're out, Pete Rose? Like, well, you can never be trusted again because that's the existential question we're dealing with. When we when you ask me, do I believe if somebody's shaded? I don't think anybody out there in their right mind would go, no, nah, it never happened. I mean, we all, so we don't really want to look at the effect of gambling truly, like look at it as we should. Like this is an eminently fallible proposition because there are so many moving parts. One dude who says, I'm going to leave halfway through the game because I'm going to say my eye hurts. Well, the whole thing falls apart. If we look at it like I'm only gambling if it is absolutely, completely believable up above board, there is no ulterior motive. It is all about all of us doing everything to win it all. And that ain't the case. That ain't the case even when there's no gambling. Well, it's a different thing. And this is obviously the Pete Rose argument. Like if you're betting on your team to win, that that lines up with the, I don't want to say lines up, but I mean, that runs parallel. The, the, well, it runs parallel with that thought, right? Like with the even if you want to call it the p- integrity of the game, it runs parallel with you doing everything you can in your power to win the game. But th- taking the under in him purposefully, willfully, consciously doing something to inhibit your team's chances of winning um, in the name of, you know, making money. And so I think that, you know, the Pete Rose thing, the the way that Major League Baseball handled that was purely off of integrity of the game, right? Absolutely. We can't compromise. We can't risk the integrity of the game. I do wonder if you do have to have a staunch of a punishment now. Not that anybody involved here, from a corporation standpoint, cares about integrity, but because of how much money's at stake. Because this now threatens the sports books, right? Do you think any sports book is happy to see this this Jante story? No, no. it's the worst case scenario. We have to rely right. on the fact that they want it so purposefully transparent and protected that they're going to police themselves to an nth degree. And that's why I think you have to treat this so severely. You have to you, because you cannot allow for any kind of precedent to be set. You cannot allow if you're the corporation, if you're the man involved here, you cannot jeopardize this money going away this potential going away because this represents that world, right? Like th- th- this, this, this is a portal to that world mm-hmm. where people say, you know what? You just can't have gambling. It just can't be it because is. it's going to get too muddy. And so you, you have to scream. This is not allowed, especially in, like, we don't know the lengths to which Shohei did or did not gamble what he did or did not gamble on. But the, the allegation here with Jante is that he literally gambled on himself in an under capacity which hinders it. this is the most significant story we've gotten in a long time where he's literally betting on himself to again in an alleged sense to not do well to throw the right? game like that throw the that, fight what, like how would you feel if you were a Raptors fan you well, know what I mean truth, like, the, that's it I mean the whole house of cards falls apart when we find one dude is out there for himself and he does he wants the team to lose or at least mm-hmm. he wants to pr- uh, purposely perform below what is expected. And, and if you're Adam Silver, this also threatens like, um, so there were two games in, involved, right? One was against the Grizzlies two, yeah. and the other, the other was against um, the Nuggets, I think. I don't recall um, the actual opponent. Okay, but the fact that you don't recall is also part of the problem that Adam Silver faces. Like Adam Silver's in a world where it's like, dude, nobody cares about all 82 games. Yeah, we care. saying, on. yeah. Right, well, and even, even, you know, oh, I, not even, but there are probably a lot of people who are like, oh, who cares? It was just two games, like whatever. It's not even like the Raptors are competitive. But even if they weren't competitive, right? Like what are two games in an NBA season? Well, you know, it's They're funny. a blip. A player you know is allowed like- to purposefully go out and, and not perform up to expectations for the benefit of themselves. And But a team can purposefully go out and tank. And we don't even question. That okay, so like now that we're tugging at all sorts of threads. See, you know what I'm saying? Getting, so that's why we start we we face this existential thing now that we've kind of danced around forever, but in every permutation of the sports discussion, like we're going to talk in a couple of minutes about the NFL, adding the eye in the sky, a little bit more of a a fail safe to ensure that the integrity of the outcome of the game is as absolutely pure as possible. If there's a foul and a pass interference or a a roughing the quarterback, we want to make sure we're calling it. Because we want the integrity of the game absolutely perfect. Well, the integrity is code for we don't want it compromised ever. from a marketing standpoint. That's what integrity of the game is code for these days. Well, what do you think and about so, the difference between what if Otani and this is still going on somehow, but the the book itself would have been a legal book, one that has offered all the possible transparencies. It was just the way that he got like to it, it. Like it allegedly is with Jante. Instead of going through Johnny Bagadonut's bookie. 
because I mean, illegal there's no illegal. transparency there. We don't know what, what the big was. That, we don't know what the points were. We don't know what the offer was. See, like, th- there's a best worst case scenario for Otani where he gambled, not on baseball, and did it with an illegal book, right? Like, because then, then you can you can debate that, right? Like, and again, at the end of the day, the letter of the law, illegal is illegal, but you can at least say, well, dude, I can go place this bet, whatever. You know, you can just talk about, you can disagree on that and it's not the most, you know, obvious or non-obvious thing. But I, I think that people will be more of Otani if all he ultimately is found to potentially have done is gambled on non-baseball things and did so with an illegal book. People would say, well, he lives in California. What's he supposed to do? You know, he enjoys it. Blah, blah, blah. This and that. He just, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Hey, coming up, uh, we're going to talk uh, college basketball. The uh, Sweet 16 is set and the ladies progress. And man, oh, man, as fun as the men looks, the women's going to be a battle of titans, too. Hey, Caitlin, her name is Paige. She can ball, too. Uh, we'll look at the ladies as they got busy last night. Next, this is the Morning Huddle, and you're on 94.1 uh, San Antonio Sports Talk. It's the Blitz with Jason and Joe. Noons at two. The golf tournament is in the books, and it was a great success. Everybody had a great time, and now it's time to look forward to Las Vegas. Yeah, that's on Thursday. On Tuesday, uh, we're going to react to what's going on down at the owners' meetings in the NFL. Plus, we've got taste of the north side tickets that we are giving away today. Yes, it's that time of year to start thinking Fiesta. The Blitz starts at 2. The Blitz with Jason and Joe. Afternoons at 2 on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. Guys, did you know your testosterone affects everything in your system, including how you feel and perform every day? Right now, Revive Men's Health San Antonio will check your testosterone for free. Knowing your T levels is the first step in understanding if you have low T. Your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED. Maintaining an appropriate T level can change your whole life. Most men start to see changes in their hormone levels in their 30s. Experience and results matter. So what are you waiting for? Get your T-Levels checked today by local, experienced, and trusted men's health experts. They've helped thousands of men since 2011. They're so confident they can help you, they even guarantee it. Call Revive today and schedule your free testosterone test, free exam, and free consultation. Call Revive Men's Health at 210-615-7777. That's 210-615-7777. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. Hi, I'm Kamiko, the founder of Miko's Hot Chicken. When we started our family restaurant, we were also raising a family. But let me tell you, it wasn't easy. Our Chase Inc. car was there to reward us on all of our business needs. Now we have a thriving location. And we're hungry for more. With the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited card, you can earn unlimited 1.5% cash back on every purchase. So your business can go from here to possible. Chase for business. Make more with yours. Real business owners compensated for their participation. Cards issued by J.P. Morgan Chase Bank and a member FDIC. Subject to credit approval. Terms apply. I can't believe tax season is here already. But look at all this info I have to enter. Phil's small accounting firm is growing in numbers. Why didn't I take that typing class in high school? A data entry specialist could really help him in a crunch. I got blisters on my fingers. Indeed can help him hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. You can schedule and conduct virtual interviews all from your employer dashboard. Visit indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency on earth. And if you owe back taxes, the news isn't good. The IRS is raising the interest rate it charges on unpaid taxes, and further rate hikes are expected. Most people don't know it, but the IRS adds interest charges on your tax debt daily. So if you owe the IRS today, you will owe even more tomorrow. And it doesn't stop until you get right with the IRS. The good news is getting right can start with one phone call to Optima Tax Relief, America's number one tax relief firm. Optima's tax professionals specialize in the Fresh Start Initiative, a power Powerful IRS program that can save you thousands if you qualify. In fact, the experts at Optima Tax have resolved over $1 billion in tax debt for their clients. Call now for a free consultation. Call 800 970 3199. That's 800 970 3199. 800 970 3199. Optima Tax Relief. 
Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. Jason Minix here from the Blitz. You know, with the tournament here, the college basketball pick is the easiest way to get in on the action and a fan favorite way to play fantasy sports. If you've made your bracket, it's probably already kind of ugly. Well, there's another way to keep playing with your bracket already busted. It's the pick game at Underdog Fantasy, where you pick between two and five players to build your pick entry. And all you have to do is select higher or lower on all different kinds of stats in this week's tournament games for a chance to win big up to 100 times your money in a single night endless projections to choose from create your own experience so download the underdog fantasy app or go to underdogfantasy.com sign up with my promo code star and underdog will match your first deposit up to 100 plus you'll get a mystery special pick to use in your first pick of entry must be over 18 and present in a state where underdog fantasy operates terms apply concerned with your play call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit ncpgambling.org again promo code star at underdogfantasy.com. Over the past decade, the Roof Hub has proven to be the best place to watch games with those three massive 170 inch screens and TVs all around. All the games, all the UFC fights, and when you show up at the Roof Hub, show up hungry. The food is fantastic. Open daily at 11. Great for lunch, great for dinner, great for late at night, and certainly the best place to watch a game. The Roo Pub is next to the Angry Elephant and in the same plaza as the Big Blind there at 281 in Redland Road. We'll see you at the Roo. Hard work and dreams lead to success, but easily filing and credit karma doesn't hurt either. Make filing taxes a walk in the park because we'll pre-fill your info for you so you can file quickly and confidently. Winner! Get the peace of mind that comes with expert help. Let's go! Being powered by TurboTax means you're backed by the leading tax preparer. And we'll show you all your filing options up front so there are no surprises. File your taxes on Intuit Credit Karma today. Expert help not available with all products. Guarantee details available at TurboTax.com slash guarantees. San Antonio Sports Star. Wake up with a morning huddle. Hey, huddle up. Here on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. This is the morning huddle. He's RJ. I am Rob. Thanks for getting in with us. Um, last night, Caitlin Clark added yet another uh, title to her long and uh, illustrious career. Uh, 13 seconds into Monday night's matchup uh, against West Virginia, which, by the way, brought in the highest scoring uh, offense in women's college basketball. Uh, Clark set another record. Um, as the, they beat the Mountaineers 64-54, uh, uh, Clark had 32 points. Uh, she surpassed Kelsey Plum for the NCAA Division I single-season scoring record last night. She broke Maravich's all-time record. She's got single seasons. She's got ladies' records. She's got men's records. She is the biggest name in sports right now. There's uh, uh, some undercurrent that uh, maybe she's getting a little bit of favorable refereeing. And I would say, yes, yes, she is and deserves it and shut up and take it wow okay <laughs> hey man there is a bigger means to it this is a means to a much bigger end than iowa headed toward a final four or a championship this is a women's sport that we are watching explode and she is the fuse man she is the one that brought it on there's been a lot that have come before her but this is this it feels like this transitional moment that she has taken control of a game and, and is taking it places. And guess what? Paige Bukers, uh, you're looking a lot like Clyde Drexler right now. You're really good, but you're not even close, man. Juju, you, you look really good, but you look a lot like Isaiah Thomas right about now. Y'all are great, and you're playing a huge role in something that is becoming something bigger and different. But this is Caitlin's world. Get out of the way. So if she gets a call or two, so she gets to play and get 34, sit back and take it. I think you're uh, being a little too favorable here. Uh, no, but... I'm telling the truth. There's I mean... a billion dollars riding on this, man. I enjoy watching her, and she's a lot of fun, but I mean... Sit back and take it as a little. Oh, we sat strong. back and took Michael Jordan pushing Utah Jazz into the third row before he took a jump shot because it was a transitional moment. Things are bigger than the play. This is a worldwide thing. Get it shut up and get out of the way. So she gets to travel a little bit. Yeah, she does. You seen LeBron play lately? There is a transition step that is happening. So, yeah, West Virginia, I'm sorry. It's a good year. 
but you ran into a supernova. You weren't going to survive this. The rules are different at the top. Ask Wimby. That's, that's really what this is. Uh, and that step from great to superstardom ain't easy. But Caitlin's done it. Y'all are just along for the ride. Just strap on and enjoy it because it's still moving and you're just going to have to take it. Hey, coming up on the 8 o'clock, uh, Shohei Otani tells us his story, whether it's truthful or not, we don't know. And Stephen Jones, hey, he's pretty comfortable. That's a good team he's got together. He's going to tell it to you. Coming up, this is 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. KTFM Floorsville. This is 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star, your home for the Aggies. Hi, my name's Jason Thompson. I've lived in San Antonio for more than 50 years. Went to grade school, high school, and graduated from law school right here. San Antonians have trusted me as their attorney after serious injury and fatality collision since 1994. My website is alawyerforus.com. Why a lawyer for us? Well, after several years of practice, I watched as insurance companies created their own law firms solely to defend against auto claims. Today, there are very few insurance companies that do not have their own captive law firm filled with attorneys whose job is to minimize what the insurance company has to pay on an auto claim. If you are a family member is injured in a traffic collision, you will need your own attorney. Just remember a lawyer for us.com. For many lawyers you see on billboards, your case will be handled by a non-lawyer or a staff lawyer. If you call me, Jason Thompson, I will be the lawyer you speak with. The initial consultation is always free. If you are a family member and needs an experienced attorney, an attorney you can trust, I want you to call me, Jason Thompson. My number is 900-0400. That's 210-900-0400 or alawyerforus.com. Here's something you won't hear from any other jeweler. Right now, when you buy a diamond at Diamonds Direct, we'll give you a free gold setting for it. Yes, a 14-karat classic solitaire setting in white gold or yellow gold at no charge with any natural diamond purchase. So all your money can go toward a bigger diamond while you still get the classic look she wants in that engagement ring. Another example of Diamonds Direct's extraordinary value. Or if you want to take it up to the next level, Diamonds Direct also has a fantastic selection of Halo, Pave, Vintage, Three Stone, and other popular mountings. Or maybe she wants a designer ring, like the one she's seen on social media. Well, Diamonds Direct has those too. In fact, we are an authorized retailer for all the top designers from New York and California. Whichever setting you choose, you'll also be able to choose your finance plan. Diamonds Direct now has a wide range of finance options with attractive rates and terms up to 60 months. So you can get the ideal setting to fit your style with the ideal payment to fit your budget. Diamonds Direct, your love, our passion. Store hours, directions, and more at DiamondsDirect.com. Hi. I'm Dr. Andrew Mueller, the Chief Oral Surgeon at Doctors Implants. I would say if you have, I think if you have major issues with four or more teeth and a major issue, like a root canal is a major issue, a crown is a major issue. If you have that going on with four or more teeth, or maybe you have periodontal disease or something else like that, this is something you should should come talk to us about. It's something you should know more about. Teeth were cracking, teeth were popping out. It hurt my personality because I love the smile. Literally, if you're sitting on the fence, call. Call now. Don't wait. The difference is amazing. It's changed my life, and it will change yours, too. Now servicing San Antonio and Central Texas. Receive a complimentary doctor's consultation and CT scan when you call 210-640-0000. Again, that's 210-640-0000. Mother sits our smile. At Target, count on our great deals just in time for Easter. Save five dollars when you spend thirty on toys with Target Circle, so you can fill their baskets with fun, like cuddly stuffed animals or fifty-piece sidewalk chalk, all from only five dollars. Add an Easter chocolate faves at Bogo fifty percent off, from Cadbury to Reese's mini eggs and more, and get great family picks with new Easter looks. It's easy with twenty percent off dresses, polos, and more. Hop in fast for our best Easter deals, only at Target. Restrictions apply. Some people just know there's a better way to do things, like bundling your home and auto insurance with Allstate, or hiring someone to move your piano instead of doing it yourself. So do things the better way. Bundle home and auto and save up to 25% with Allstate. Bundled savings vary by state and are not available in every state. Saving up to 25% is the countrywide average of the maximum available savings off the home policy. All state vehicle and property insurance company and affiliates, Northbrook, Illinois. San Antonio's Sports Star. San Antonio's Sports Center. 
The San Antonio Spurs went into the Phoenix Suns game, not only having lost to them recently, but were one and seven without Victor Wimbanyama. That didn't matter, though. The Spurs took down the Suns with a late three from Jeremy Sohan, winning 104-102. The big baguette set out. We expect them to see to take action against Utah as the Spurs travel there tomorrow night. How good you want to be? From play one to the last play, we fight. Today's about opportunity and character. We got a chance to come out here and play football. It's a blessing. Hey, every season is full of defining moments. Let's make this day a defining moment for us in our quest. Let's go, baby. This is the morning huddle on 941. San Antonio Sports Star with Rob Thompson and the managing editor of Blogging the Boys, RJ Ochoa. Now, here are the guys. Hey, gather around. We got a bunch to talk about. It is the morning huddle here on San Antonio Sports Star. Don't mind them brake lights. We'll get you where you're going. That's RJ. I'm Rob. And together we huddle up every morning from 6 to 10. And Edwin Hafner drives us that direction. Uh, we're glad you're here. This hour. We'll talk Cowboys. Uh, Mike McCarthy sat down amongst the other coaches and owners. Where are they in Orlando uh, for the coaches meetings? Uh, Stephen Jones uh, reflected on his team and, and the progress in the offseason. Uh, there, there is a mantra that, that is being said from the top to the bottom and everywhere in between. Did you, you know, RJ, that talent acquisition is a 365-day uh, job? Did you know that? So don't parse just what goes on in March. The time when everything well, goes on sale. Don't don't parse the Black Friday of uh, saying you know we can we can get guys. It might be a little more expensive, but there's still guys. I uh, only want to counter that with um, with letting you know something that you told me as a way to remember this. It is an election year, which means it is a leap year. It is indeed, a which leap. means it is a year with 366 days. So they had an extra so, day to get this done. Well, no, they're taking it off, man. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, get your crap together, guys. If you're only working 365 out of the 366, I mean, who knows what could happen on that final day, that extra day. On a likability uh, well, well, I'm in trouble this morning. On a likability scale. Where is Mike Zero. McCarthy for you? Oh, um, you know, so I I would tell people all the time that Jason Garrett was really charming. You know, like everybody acted like he was this vanilla guy. But, you know, when when the cameras were not on, he was the most charming dude. One time um, at training camp, I ended up telling you guys this. I got part of a group and he told us this, I guess, proverb um, about devouring the strawberries. And I was enthralled. I, I was just, I mean, completely mystified by the the charisma that he carried. I would I would say that Mike McCarthy is is even more charming. Mike McCarthy is, I, I don't think he gets enough credit for kind of how smooth he can be. And he's, he's a funny guy. You know what I mean? Like he, he's quick, you know, better than me. He's quick on the whip mm -hmm. and uh, in, in the intellect and in the SAS department. And so I think he, he carries himself really well in the front facing part of his job. I have long maintained that he doesn't get enough credit for not just what he's done with the Cowboys, but people act like he was just this dude that wrote Aaron Rodgers' coattails in green Bay. When we've seen Mike McCarthy have, a high level of success with the Cowboys, obviously not the degree that anybody you know seriously wants. But you know, I, I checked out on him after the playoff loss because I we just have can't established anymore. a championship program. <laughs> it's just not the world championship yet. I yeah. hear that in my sleep, Edwin. I, so thank I, I you do, very much. and and but, it, it couldn't have been more appropriate right there because he sat down with Adam Schefter yesterday, and uh, you know we hadn't heard from him in a minute. And you don't know how the guy's going to react because we all know McCarthy's on the last year of his deal and that Jerry has chosen not to negotiate or extend. I mean, he's basically, I guess he's no different than anybody else. Be successful or go someplace else or you will have another place to be, uh, to try to be successful. And he, he talked about um, watching the rest of his division improve while, well, you know, he's he's going to have to cook some groceries and it might be a struggle meal because it hadn't been stocked. This is him talking about the place he finds himself. Well, I have a lot of experience in not being active in veteran free agency, so I, I guess it uh, doesn't, doesn't bother me as much. But, no, I, I think it's like anything, and it, it really is. I mean, you're working on your roster 365 days a year, and, and that's always been a reality. And I think as a coach, I've really always focused on the guys I know are going to be there 
uh, in, in the offseason program because, you know, you really do have a chance to, to improve as a football team. You know, I'm a big believer in a second or third year jump. You know, we have some young players. We got some guys coming back off of IR that were young players that we're excited about. So we are definitely improving. You know, we're just we're just not part of the uh, free agent market right now. <laughs> so I want to let you know something that has been uncovered this morning, Rob. Whew. If you'll allow me. Uh, I, I'm ready because that was a so, load of crap I just listened to. Mike is – and I, I don't – I have zero – off-season anger towards Mike. No, my it's not his fault with, at all. Yeah, my, my anger with Mike is reserved for what happened in the playoff loss. Okay, but whatever. So anyway, and I respect greatly that he is a good enough soldier to do this because not a lot of people are humble enough to to do this this way. I, I don't think I would be able to. I think you would. You're a, a man of high enough character that I trust you'd be able to tow the company line. But um, but anyway, so <laughs> what is the, the general response that you or I or anybody gets when, you know, we say this is so stupid the way the Cowboys are going about free agency? What, what do people normally say to calm things down? How is everything going to get fixed? Oh, it's Jerry. Give it time. We got money. Oh, we no, got it's, it's the draft. That's well, what yeah, it's kind I mean, of yeah, like, it's Jerry. They're going to draft really well. And all these young players on their team, they're going to step up, right? Now, we know that last year's draft was horrible, all right? Like, it was horrible from a production standpoint. It, it somehow got a little bit worse. Uh, so we knew that DeMarvion Overshawn was coming off of the Oh, we were ACL. told not even to worry about linebacker. He's going to get back. Well, he's he's, he's going to be there. We're, it's, he's essentially a free draft pick, right? Because he's in, in an extra draft pick this year. Right. right. Okay. Well, this morning, uh, um, Mike McCarthy sat down at the NFC coaches breakfast, um, presumably not with tacos from us, but, um, not yet, you either. know, hey, that's right. Um and he mentioned that both Mozzie Smith and Luke Schoonmaker, their first two picks last year, Michigan men had shoulder surgeries this offseason. What? All right. That that Mozzie's carried a four to six month timetable following the procedure that he underwent shortly after the season. So he's he's a little bit further into this, or a little bit into this at least, but that Luke Schoonmaker underwent his somewhat recently, according to the Dallas Morning News is Michael Gelkin. All systems go for training camp uh, for Schoonmaker, according to um, a person familiar with the situation. Again, this, these are Michael Gelkin's words. Um, so now, Robert, we're looking at a world. <laughs> I've told you where your significant contributors are your your top 100 picks. It's your first, second, and third round pick. Where the Cowboys, you know, and, and theoretically, your roster is littered with top 100 picks, right? Because every year, these dudes are becoming more and more important. So this year, the Cowboys don't need a linebacker because they're counting on DeMarvion Overshone. He's coming off of an offseason surgery. Granted, it took place at the beginning of the season in his torn ACL. Now you've got Luke Schoonmaker, who doesn't even have a spot on the team to contribute because, you know, Jake Ferguson's so awesome. He's coming off of an offseason surgery relative to his shoulder. You got Mozzie Smith, who you're depending on to a high degree because you let Jonathan Hankins walk for peanuts mm -hmm. to the Seattle Seahawks. And now you're depending on him significantly in general, but even more so because he's coming off of a shoulder surgery. Your top three 100 picks last year are all coming off of varying off-season surgeries. And and that the, that's the foundation for which you're building this season upon. Uh, he's in such a tough position because he has to toe the company line. And when I hear him repeat a line from Steven, that talent acquisition is a 365 year, 66 to, to RJ's point. I just take it that this guy is, you know, kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't. Uh, he was asked, Chef, you asked him, can you know, can we trust this? I mean, are you happy with the guys on your roster? Are you feeling any pressure? Or you know, what's going on? And as far as the pressure went, um, uh, he's uh, McCarthy said he's been here before. I mean, I think as a coach, you really, you know, every year is this. I mean, it's the same. I mean, let's let's be honest. And that's the way it's always been. You know, this is uh, personally, I've been in this spot. This will be the third time, you know, and it's and it's worked out, you know, f very well for me. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not really concerned about it. He's not concerned about it. He's been here before. This is also the third time in a row that the Cowboys have allowed their head coach to go into a contract year. They did it with Jason Garrett in 2014. He delivered. Granted, his season ended at the hands of Mike McCarthy. <laughs> <laughs> he did it in 2019. Um, he did not deliver, and now they're doing it with Mike McCarthy himself. Now it's wild. Is, is it out of his hands? I mean, literally, uh, just go win and hope that he, the, the the greater plan here isn't to blow things up. Because while we're talking about talent acquisition and filling holes and second year to third year improvement, 
the end of the day, the first and foremost problem the Cowboys are facing is Dak. I mean, how are they going to pay him? When are they going to pay him? What are they going to pay him? Um, McCarthy was asked uh, where the Dak thing is. Dak is uh, he's a machine. He's, he's so diligent in his off-season prep. So he's he's already started his process. But yeah, he he's just getting ready to to perform and and connect with the you know with the young players. You know, I, I think it's you know just the, the landscape of how we have to train in the off-season. It's important for your quarterback to have those you know private workouts and things like that. So that's really where his mind is. It's just really how can we improve in year two of our offense? And you know, at, at the end of the day, you know, we need to be a better complementary football team. You know, when the, when the defense isn't going well, the offense needs to pick up for them. And, and no difference when the offense isn't going well, the defense has to pick up for them. And, you know, I think this, if you look at our last game, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of complimentary football going on. Uh, we'll get to that later, uh, Coach. Uh, so he has no idea. I mean, here's the other thing. You know, Dak is the best quarterback that Dallas Cowboys have had since Troy Aikman. And I don't care what any of you Tony Romo stands are going to do, how much you're going to whine and <laughs> cry and complain. I could name uh, a few that, that I'd like deeply. to put up there. Yeah, I know that hurts you deeply, and I know that it's it's a trigger point for you, but he is the best quarterback they have had since Troy Aikman. Now, that being said, Mike McCarthy has been his head coach, Dak Prescott's obviously, twice entering contract years. All right, so Mike McCarthy's first year in 2020 – they did not get a contract done, and they had Dak Prescott play on the franchise tag. And in 2021, they did have the contract negotiations that were a bit of a thing, and they ultimately got them done. Um, so kudos to them. But here we go again. You know what I mean? So, like, in three out of the five years that Mike McCarthy has been Dak Prescott's head coach, he's had contract negotiations as this, you know, underbelly, you know, topic mm -hmm. throughout them all. That's just not a, a conducive environment to success, that you you have your head coach operate and thrive in. Now, I do want to say something, by the way. Uh, a little bit of breaking news, I suppose. Uh, I guess it's worthy of a three-note sting. Here we go. All, All right. Uh, the owners' meetings are happening, and the new kickoff rule was voted through. Yes! So we have a new, All right! We have a, we have a new kickoff. Um, now, Cowboys fans can be proud of John Fossil, Cowboys special teams coordinator. He was a big kind of push um, in the presentation of it all. And so that... Um, that has been adopted by NFL owners. So um, NFL Network's Tom Pelissero noted that we're going to have um, setup zones and landing zones. Like we're going to hear these new terminologies. This should lead um, to more um, returns in a theoretical sense. So the setup zone um, is going to be happening for the return team around the 35-yard line. The kickoff, their own 35-yard line. The kickoff line is a little bit past the 50 and the landing zone is within is is with between the goal line and the 25 yard line i can't wait like, to see the like graphics a, package on this kind of like a pooch kick you know what i'm saying like you're kind of like a like a flop shot in golf you, you gotta place like the ball almost, yeah exactly like you're trying to flop it and and just kind of get some air underneath it or yeah seriously underneath it and have it land and there's not as much room for volatility for right. the the pinball nature of of the athletes and then you, you know, it, it, it could be very exciting. I mean, it's going to be very complicated. And mm -hmm. the most annoying thing you mentioned, the graphics or every broadcast is going to be like, okay, here so we'll we have go. the strike we'll flop up. zone and the, yeah. and, the, and the yellow green zone and the no go zone and the, uh, the fire zone. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be like an NBA all-star game with all the stuff going on underneath it i can't wait and then we'll have the eye in the sky above and oh by the way the nfl adopted a few more of uh, big brother tactics to make sure everything is right we're going to talk about the new rules including no more drop hip tackling or hip drop tackling or whatever, whatever the hell it was it's going the way of the horse collar uh we'll talk about the ramifications and players man they are upset with this and that found, it sounds like the same argument i heard when they asked them to put on helmets well how the hell am i gonna make a tackle with a helmet on let's just put a dress on well guess what you're gonna be a little bit safer and whether the numbers uh tell the truth or not i think we all agree we don't want to see guys hurt so a little bit after nine we're going to talk about that but coming around to ben uh, how your brackets look, and we're looking through the sweet 16. There are only three perfect brackets in all the land on ESPN. Where do you sit? Where do you sit in ours? Let's look around and maybe do a little reseeding like the Blitz. Uh, hold on. We're talking college basketball as the tournament continues right here on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Talk.
You know, BetUS.com has been the only book I have uh, well, endorsed since I've been here at San Antonio Sports Star. People ask me why you had so many opportunities to go elsewhere. All the deals everybody else offers will listen. All the deals you're ever going to want are at BetUS.com. And if for new members right now, you go sign up, they're going to give you 125% bonus, not on your first deposit, but your first three 125% of what you deposit will be matched for you to go play with it's their money go have some fun with it just for going to betus.com it's so easy and why wouldn't you call them 1-800-MY-BET-US they will walk you through it you talk or they talk and uh, you type and vice versa they'll get it all set up or just go online at betus.com if you go there go make your deposit up to 125% if you're bringing crypto to the party up to 200% on your first three and don't forget there's always gamblers insurance now above and beyond the book and the action that we're always after all the well all the insight all the studies all the props everything you need to make it inform it they've got it they've also got the casino side of things uh, so if you want to spend some time while you're up there making the book that's what i do you should do the same go right now it's they're absolutely trustworthy i've been with them for years they've been around for 30 years and they're taking us all to the rack with them use the 125 percent three times call them today at 1-800 my bet us you talk they type or you want to type go to betus.com either way join them today i know you're gonna thank me later Nothing beats March Madness. The pure sound of a swish. The rattle of a slam dunk. The fans on their feet for the big moments. And the action just keeps getting better until a national champion is crowned. Hear all the action with Westwood One's exclusive coverage of the NCAA men's and women's tournaments right here. On 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star and San Antonio's ESPN 1250. Joe Reinagle here. I want to tell you about something that my life. I had vision correction surgery at Parkhurst New Vision. The results are amazing. The readers are a thing of the past. Hey, if you're like me and tired of those glasses, call Parkhurst New Vision at 210-585-2020. They offer a variety of services like vision correction surgery. So call Parkhurst New Vision, 210-585-2020, or get them online at sanantoniolasic.com. If you've been thinking about buying a new car or pre-owned car, truck, or SUV, think Ansira.com. Browse through thousands of new and pre-owned cars, trucks, SUVs, and RVs. Shop for your next new Chevrolet, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Ford, Buick, or GMC. Or if you're looking for an import, we have a huge selection of Kias, VWs, and Nissans. Or for your home away from home, a full line of RVs and campers. And you'll always get the lowest Ansira price in-store or online at Ansira.com. Now is the best time to buy a Kinetico water softener. With current models being closed out to make way for the new ones, you can save big. Call Kinetico at 656-PURE and tell them Dave Ramsey sent you. That's 656-PURE. George gets justice. In life's most challenging moments, getting the right help matters most if you've been injured. Get George at George Salinas Injury Lawyers. With a track record of success and a dedication to their clients, George gets justice. George Salinas Injury Lawyers is not just a law firm. They're your support system. Get George at George Salinas Injury Lawyers today at 210-225-0909 or visit GetGeorge.com. George gets justice. GetGeorge.com. If you're a pro and flooring is your game, we'll help you win it. Because at LL Flooring, all we do is floors. You want decor? Drive. You want plumbing? You're LL Flooring has been helping pros knock it out of the park for over 30 years. Visit one of our 400 nationwide warehouses for one-on-one -on -one service, extensive inventory, and exclusive pro pricing. Oh, Get the pro treatment you deserve. Enroll today, online or in-store. LL Flooring, every step covered. eBay Motors is here for the ride. 120,000 miles of night drives, daily commutes, and who knows how many. Are we there yet? Through countless fixes, elbow grease, and a new radiator, you kept your ride alive. With eBay Motors, you have over 122 million parts to keep it running. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, they'll be the perfect fit every time. Plus, at these prices, well, we're burning rubber, not cash. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. <laughs> 
Texting privacy policy and terms and conditions posted at textplan.us. Texting enrolls for occurring automated text marketing messages. Message and data rates may apply. Reply stop, opt out. Minimum purchase required. Interest accrues from date of purchase, but is waived if paid within promotional period. Go to windowappointmentnow.com for full offer details. Attention homeowners. Do you know when to replace your windows? Feeling too hot or cold? Fog between the glass. Spending too much on expensive energy that literally goes out the window? It's time to replace. And right now, you can get a free in-home window consultation and free price quote from Renewal by Anderson. Plus, with our March 31-day sales event, you can save $377 off every window and $777 off every door when you buy four or more units. Just text PROJECT to 200-300 for your free consultation on top quality affordable windows or patio doors for no dollars down, no monthly payments, and no interest for a year. That's right. You don't pay a dime for an entire year. Text PROJECT to 200-300 to save $377 off every window and $777 off every door when you buy four or more units. Hurry, this incredible 31-day sales offer is only in March. Text PROJECT to 200-300. Text the word PROJECT to 200-300. PROJECT to 200-300. There's never any FOMO with the iHeartRadio app. You won't ever have to miss out on your favorite shows and contests with this radio station again. Radio 24-7, 365. We're here when you want us. Stay connected and listen anywhere when you download the free iHeartRadio app. This Entertainment Insider is sponsored by Progressive Insurance. Actress Jodie Foster looks back at an amazing career and the journey she took to get here. Yes, yes, I am crazy. I think I have managed to survive and survive intact. And um, that was no small feat. And look at me, I survived. <laughs> Looking for a career path with flexibility and great pay and benefits? Go to progressive.com slash careers and apply online today. This year, wouldn't you like to stop feeling self-conscious about your receding hairline or thinning hair? Millions of men and women around the world trust Hair Grow from New Nordic as an effective way to get thicker looking hair. Hair Grow is backed by an exclusive U.S. patent and is clinically proven to promote more hair growth. Ask for Hair Grow at your local Walgreens or shop online at Amazon.com or NewNordicUSA.com. That's new, N-O-R-D-I-C-U-S-A.com, Amazon, or ask for Hair Grow at your local Walgreens. Howdy, San Antonio. This is Andrew Monaco, and you're locked on the home of the Aggies, 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. It's the morning huddle here on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. Don't forget, Blitz gets busy today at 2 o'clock, but they're only going to be in town for another day or so. They're heading to Vegas. Uh, they'll be celebrating the uh, sweet 16 on Thursday and Friday at the Circa. Uh, you want to take uh, a, a sojourn with them? You want to go? It's easy. Go to sasportstar.com. Uh, there's a link there. Use the term Minix20. And uh, you'll get 20% off of your room right there at the Circa. If you don't know what the Circa is, it's the best new book in Vegas. They got it by the pool. They got it inside. They got everything you need. Uh, Greg Maddox going to be there over the week, uh, throwing out the first pitch uh, at their big old book. So I was astounded, RJ, at the number of guys at the tournament yesterday that are going. It's going to be a great weekend. There were so many people who were telling us they were going, and you were just – Really, yeah. really, really jealous. I got a little or, FOMO, but I have uh, I got family responsibility. You know, you got to do what you got to do. So uh, everybody else should go uh, go and uh, do this in remembrance of me. Use the code MINIX20, and uh, you'll go uh, on the uh, lowdown uh, for a lot of fun. Um, and again, I want to thank everybody that uh, was involved with our golf tournament yesterday. Uh, all the folks with Flight by Yingling, thank you. All the folks at Insira, thank you uh Rupub, slackers uh scissors and scotch i'm gonna leave a bunch of them out but what a fantastic day uh golf club of texas for hosting um i'd like to, to congratulate myself for calling ahead and reserving the weather um I, I got a little rain in early to soften up the green so that we could have two teams tie at uh 53 to win it all good day head by on head by all you ready for uh, the games tomorrow or Thursday night? Yeah. Who's not? <laughs> well, this, this is going to be – last week was incredible from a sports standpoint. And, and I'm excited to talk about the tournament. Don't get me wrong. But this is opening day this week. If opening day, we have NBA playoffs heating-ish up. You know what I mean? Like the, the early part of the heat. Um, not the Miami heat, but um, – we got a lot going on. I don't know. I don't have enough screens to absorb everything that's going to be happening over the course of the next few days. To give you an idea of where we're at, you know, after last year with Florida Atlantic and San Diego State, and to some extent Houston, um, it was a bunch of teams that we really didn't know, hadn't seen for sure. And they were just fun stories, but the fun story turned dull when they had to play each other on a final four night. 
But this this year's different as the the uppers have made it. This is the fifth time since the seeding began in 79 that a one and a two seed, all of them have advanced to the Sweet 16. It also happened back in 2019, not that long ago, but seriously, it was 09, 95, and 89. But that doesn't mean much because when it has happened in the past, uh, all four previous times, all eight of the top two seeds reached the Sweet 16. At least one team, seeded three or worse, broke through to make the Final Four. Four top two team, two seeds have reached the Final Four three times since seeding began, 79, uh, 93, 07, and 08. And only once was the Final Four comprised of all number one seeds. The last time that happened? In 2008. That's pretty sweet. No pun intended. Well, you know... It is the Battle of the Blue Bloods. It is the Exceptionals. We got the Golden Triangle up there in Carolina back in the party. I mean, that that Duke, North Carolina State, North Carolina Tobacco Road is back in play. The ACC is relevant again in the basketball world, and they've gone away for a moment. The SEC far less so as they have fallen apart. Connecticut, the returning champ, still there. A beast in the West in Arizona. It is... Uh, no surprise that the ACC and Big East have also posted the best records in the tournament. No. Um, but the SEC I, was been, a shock. It's been really chalk. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's been a really chalk tournament, and that's not a bad thing. Um, I think we were talking about this yesterday. We were kind of due and kind of aching for a chalky sort of tournament. We want to see the top dogs. We want to see some big-time matchups. Like, I enjoyed the round of 62. Don't get me wrong. But there's something to, you know, a ticket to the final four on the line and you're getting, you know, these massive heavyweight teams duking it out. That That's what I think we want to see. We want to see, you know, challenging basketball. Four of the uh, fun of the Sweet 16 are chasing their first final four appearance. Two of them are going at each other, Creighton and Tennessee. So one won't make it. Two more on opposite sides of the of bracket, Alabama and Clemson could. Four and teams. I believe 11 teams are chasing their first title ever. Yes, and, and it's kind of shocking when you think of the teams that are coming at right. you because they're not uncommon names. You know, it, what right. makes I mean, it you feel, hear like Tennessee yeah. or Clemson or something like that. You're like, what? Never? You know what Never I mean? Never has. Uh, the betting trends, uh, one seeds are 8-0 in the tournament. Highest average uh, points per game margin through two rounds since 1998 at a plus 26.5. Uh, first one seeds are the best uh, against the spread record and highest uh, cover margin in the round of 32 since 1985. If you bet the favorites, you're counting your money today. If you're at betus.com, you'd be counting even more. Uh, Houston has the highest chance of any team to reach the final four and on sheer toughness. I didn't really get it. We didn't have an opportunity to get into the, the uh, remarkable game that Jamal Shedd had. I don't know what NBA scouts are looking for because he's you know he's a top 20 kind of pick and and after that then he's kind of the eye of the beholder he could go as low as eight he could be 20 depending on how things shake but boy i think uh i hate to be that guy that says boy he sure looks like a spur but uh boy he sure likes a spur uh, you got a defense first a willing passer a little cross uh between avery johnson and uh i don't know let's Trying to find the most angry spur to ever play. Uh, Kawhi. Nah, Kawhi was. Mario Ellie. A little mix between mm. Ellie and Avery. Got a little edge to him. Yeah, I liked I it. Kelvin Sampson, by the way, is seeking his third Final Four appearance. He did it back with Oklahoma back in 02. Duke's still running around. North Carolina's still running around. San Diego State Final Four team taking on UConn on... Uh, Thursday at 7.30 looks like the uh, the Thursday game of the week of the year. Because this is, UConn's been skating. San Diego's Dude. a bunch of men. I mean, I'm not saying that it's, um, it's going to be easy for them. Don't get me wrong. But I'm also not going to say that it's going to be incredibly difficult. I'm not, I'm not scared of, of, you know, San Diego State for my Huskies. Do you have a favorite guy so far? Is there a, a player of the tournament that you uh, – I think everybody had attached themselves to Gulky, um, mm -hmm. obviously, but <laughs> it's it's kind of difficult. Like, because when you, when you're talking about individual players, you are looking for like the Cinderella guy, like the face mm -hmm. of that. You know what I'm saying? And that doesn't really exist right here. So it's like, oh, which which bandwagons you know leader is the coolest? You know what I mean? There's a lot of dudes right now, and that's the thing. Like, th that's what's exciting about this tournament is 
I know there's no Caitlin Clark in terms of just the overwhelming dominating force, but there are a lot of dudes. You know, this is a, a tournament, you know, now with 16 teams where everybody's got some players. And that's what's going to make – this is going to be one of the best weekends ever. I mean, just from, from a sporting perspective. Like, the uh, the amount of, you know, legitimate college basketball games is going to make this weekend feel – it's going to make last weekend feel just like this warm-up act. You know, mm -hmm. it won't have as much actual games, obviously, but they will be much higher quality. I'm thoroughly enjoying uh, Tyler Kolek, the point guard for Marquette. You know, he was hurt, had some injury issues through the Big East tournament. Uh, he got well, and there hadn't been a Big East loss since Marquette, Creighton, and UConn charging through. Um, DJ Burns the third might come out of this weekend as the most popular and fun college basketball, men's college basketball dude. The big center for North Carolina State. He seems magnetic. He's got a fun game. Um, not enough of the the showmanship anymore. These guys are all older. They're they're in for the ring. A rematch of the 1974 National Championship with North Carolina State taking on uh, Marquette. It's going to be a fun watch. That might be the most fun game of the weekend because you got the shock of smart aids and North Carolina State, who just what they played five games in five days just to get to the dance. Right. See, like, that's where, you know, you can miss me with, like, any take about, like, somebody doesn't deserve whatever this and that, blah, blah. Like, you just, that's the whole magic of the tournament. Like, the whole magic is that anything can happen to anyone at any given moment in time. And, you know, we've gone this far and haven't talked about the consistent goodness of Gonzaga. Because you can't really say great yet because, they, you know, they're here a lot. No, that's Nobody wants to give it to them because it, they have a little bit of Cowboys like, oh, the end's coming. You know what I mean? Like, every, everybody is just fearful of that. Like, oh, it, this isn't, this isn't, for, they'll, are they making a pass this weekend? No. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Rah, they, they have a legitimate, you know, they have a legitimate shot. But I, I can't help but think back to the Dean Smith era back before and until he got Jordan. When Dean Smith was forever in Sweet 16s and forever in Elite Eights, and he could not, for whatever re reason, win a title. No matter what happened, what crew he brought up there, it was just not going to happen. And I think Gonzaga's been like that. Mark Few, once he gets a ring, will finally be able to ascend to the position that the likes of, well, the greats that have all left, that he can finally take that next step. He's now, up until when he finally gets that, he's just this really co good coach up in the, the Northwest from this school that we hear from in March. The, the alma mater of John Stockton. I mean, we're still talking about him in those ways, but this team has been to the Sweet 16, what, eight consecutive years? That's ridiculous. There's, I mean, it is, but it's like, again, I mean, I, I said the Cowboys, it's like going 12 and five three years in a row. You know what I mean? It's, it's, you know, do, do we remember that the Oh four or whatever no. it was? Oh, Oh three Pistons that went to, well, they did win one. You know what I'm saying? But like, do we give them credit for going, was it five straight Eastern conference finals? You know, do we, do we give the bills credit for the, you know, going to four straight Super Bowls, like, it's cool. It's objectively impressive. There's no doubt about it. But, like, if you can't do the whole thing, then people don't really care. You are known in college for what you do in March. It doesn't matter anywhere else. Doesn't matter weeks at the number one or big tourney wins in Maui. Right. It, it, it doesn't matter. Hey, coming back, we got more to get into. Uh, there's the ranking of how teams have done and the Texans are marked as one of the most improved, if not the most improved team in all the NFL. And guess what? They're going to get an opportunity to show that new talent off sooner than anybody else. But one other team, we'll tell you what that means next. Let's talk some NFL and some new rules and whatnot coming up. We're glad you're here. This is the morning huddle. You're on 94, one San Antonio sports talk. If you miss the blitz with Jason and Joe, then you miss this. The great Bruce Bowen here on the blitz. Victor Wimbanyam has never been a rookie win defensive player of the year. Do you think Wimby Ooh. deserves that, Bruce? Man, that's a great question. I love what he does defensively because there's so much about the sexiness of offense. I think people don't even realize how good he is defensively and what he does as far as covering up different areas because he covers space like no one else. I would love to see a rookie 
get something quite like that. But at the same time, who's voting? There's many a times where you never saw a team, maybe with the less amount of wins, win the season of the year. I guarantee you this. I think he's going to be able to have at least two defensive player of the year awards as he continues on into his career. Right home with the Blitz. Afternoons 2 to 6 on 94.1. San Antonio Sports Star. At GiveMeTheVin.com, we pride ourselves in being America's best car buyer, bringing top dollar for your car with an online process that's fast and easy. But you might not know that we've got a special interest in buying your truck. Luxury haulers, workhorse diesels, or just your favorite pickup truck, we specialize in putting the right money on your truck for longer than anybody. Go to GiveMeTheVin.com today and get your check on the spot from America's best car and truck buyer. Sell us your car. GiveMeTheVin.com. So easy you can do it in your underwear. Flight by Yingling is the next generation of light beer. For those who don't follow trends, but craft them. Flight by Yingling is 12 ounces of uncompromised refreshment from America's oldest brewery. With only 2.6 grams of carbs and 95 calories, this is premium refreshment, six generations in the making. Don't just raise a glass, raise the bar. Flight by Yingling. Available wherever beer is sold. DG Yingling and Sun Incorporated, Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Please enjoy responsibly. Most of us go to the doctor when we're sick or need prescriptions refilled. But at the Institute for Functional Health, we offer a different and complete version of primary care. This means you will get the medications you need, but we will also put together a custom game plan to fix the root cause and allow your body to heal itself. I'm Dr. Torres at the Institute for Functional Health, and we help people get off of medications. Call me for a free consultation, 468-1891, or online at iffhealth.com. You will experience a doctor's visit unlike any you've ever had, 468-1891. San Antonians love a good party, and the Valero Texas Open is one you don't want to miss. Enjoy food, drinks, and the world's best PGA Tour pros as they tee it up at TPC San Antonio. Proceeds help us continue a long-standing tradition of giving back to our community. So buy tickets on ValeroTexasOpen.com and join us April 4th through the It's time, basketball bettors. It's March Mania. I'm Rob Thompson here to tell you about BetUS.com. Over the years, I've endorsed only one sportsbook and casino, and that's been BetUS.com for years. They've been driving to the basket for 30 years, and I've been a part of it. And this year, BetUS has got an epic three-pointer going for you, 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits, plus 10% gambling insurance. It's epic. Get started by visiting BetUS.com or give them a call at 1-800-MY-BETUS. BetUS is where the game begins. Former pro football offensive tackle Mitch Schwartz knows for a guy, buying jewelry is a daunting task at most stores, but not if you go to Diamonds Direct. It's very simple and very easy process for a guy to go in there and not be overwhelmed. Mitch found Diamonds Direct and has been back many times buying jewelry for his wife, Brooke, and he's never felt any pressure. They're going to educate you about what you're looking for, what the diamonds are, how the process works. At Diamonds Direct, we respect both you and your budget. I think everyone's kind of searching for value you don't want to be taken advantage of, and Diamonds Direct is leading in that regard. You're going to feel really comfortable there. You're going to have a good time. You're going to find something that looks amazing and that you're going to get the best value for it. So if you're worried about getting sweaty palms when you walk into a jewelry store, relax. Take Mitch's advice and enjoy the experience at Diamonds Direct. We have definitely recommended Diamonds Direct to friends, other teammates, everyone else who has been through there has had as awesome an experience as we have. Diamonds Direct, your love, our passion. Get directions, showroom hours, and more at DiamondsDirect.com. Hard work, dedication, and dreams. These are the keystones of success. But easily filing your taxes with TurboTax and Credit Karma doesn't hurt either. And getting your max refund guarantee definitely doesn't hurt. But let others think you did a lot of hard work to file your taxes when in reality, it was a walk in the park. No, no, you literally filed while walking your dog in the park. Winner! Because some key info is pre-filled for you, so you can file quickly and confidently like the boss that you are. So give yourself the peace of mind that comes with getting expert help, because you're going places. Let's go! And make tax season feel like it's award season with easy filing. Yeah! Know that you're backed by the leading tax preparer, TurboTax, and we'll show you all your filing options up front, so there are no surprises. Feel accomplished and confident that your taxes are done right. File an Intuit Credit Karma today. Ah, yeah. Expert help not available with all products. Guaranteed details available at TurboTax.com slash guarantees. Nigel, what's up with your hair? 
Joel, prices are insane these days. I'm cutting my own hair. Folks, nobody likes paying high prices. Good news. For a limited time, all Quarter Moon 14 Seer AC systems up to three tons are installed in your house for only $69.99. Now is the ideal time to take care of your home at the lowest price of the year. Joel, I like saving money. I'm an influencer. Everywhere I go, people hand me change and say, bless your heart. Quarter Moon Plumbing, Heat, and AC. 210-651-5899. License number M160. 004-TACLA-0007-43458. Good morning, everybody. Jason Minix here from The Blitz on this Tuesday afternoon. Today, starting at 2 o'clock. More reaction from what's happening down at the NFL owners' meetings and what Mike McCarthy had to say. Plus, we have tickets to give away, VIP tickets to Taste of the North Side. Time to start thinking Fiesta. It is that time for sure. So, Rob, what time is your haircut appointment? <laughs> Don't be dazed, baby. The mullet is just beginning. It is the acorn that becomes the mighty oak. I gather my strength from it. Oh, it's due to come off. It will be shorn soon. Been a good run. But it might be time to go. Hey, welcome aboard the huddle. We're glad you're here, and we were glad you were there yesterday out at the uh, Golf Club of Texas. Thanks to all those that participated in what was a sold-out and genuinely fun event. Uh, thanks to all those that helped us do it, uh, Flight by Yingling and Sira, and all those that stood at the holes and sponsored each and celebrated with us. Uh, congratulations to those who won. Congratulations to those who lost. Congratulations to all that attended. We'll do it again in September. Uh, stay tuned for such things. The Blitz is headed to Vegas. They had to uh, make a run for it. Uh, they'll be there all weekend long. They'll be broadcasting live from the circus starting Thursday. And there's a chance for you to go if you want. You can go to sasportstar.com. The Circa's hosting us, and they'd like you to get a discounted room rate. Use the term Minix20, and you get some cheaper rooms, and you'll get to party like rock stars uh, at the Circa for a Sweet 16 and opening day weekend. It's a big day, Rob. <laughs> it's a very big day. I have – this isn't breaking news at all, but I have oh, something I very important to tell you. We were breaking something. Yes, uh, let's break it. The first trailer for Bad Boys 4 is out really in theaters on june the 7th See, i, I cannot you. wait to watch it's blockbuster dude bad boys 2 is the greatest movie of all time two not one bad boys the original is great but bad boys 2 is amazing and it features uh our friend of the show dan marino i got to ask him about his appearance mm -hmm. in that show and he, he, uh, he said i think he thought the other one was better that his best there's something about mary was uh yeah well, no. Well, he, Bad uh, Boys Three. Some people think uh, was not a good movie. They're wrong, and they're oh, done. It wasn't a good movie, but uh, Bad Boys Four fun. is going to be. I will be. I haven't been to the movie theater in literal years. Have, have you, I will be. Oh, so that'll there. that that Bad Boys will be what gets you off the couch and into the theater. Bad Boys, dude. I love Bad Boys. I will do. There's there's not a bad Bad Boys movie. So Tom Cruise and his jet fighting couldn't do it. Not cool enough. The myriad of uh, indie art pieces that have come out since I haven't done. Oh, it was Ace Ventura. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, it was. It was, it was, Ace Ventura. Was, it was um, Brett, Brett Favre and something other. Bob uh, Ray, uh, as he was known. Dude, um, I will be there with popcorn and the biggest soda possible. Good for you. I, I want. They're gonna have to tap a keg of soda from me for this movie. I mean, you, like you, you would do that, but you are not gonna go see Dune Two, which by every account is phenomenal. I want to read the book at this point, but. I um, yeah, so uh, which I bought, but Bad Boys. All right, is I'm, my I'm thing. psyched for you. I'm glad there's a a chance for you to go uh, get out amongst the peoples. You're not going to see also, Godzilla versus Kong. Um, public service announcement: If you have T-Mobile, you can get a free season of MLB TV starting today. So, well, the, for those of y'all that went that way, I mean, I'm just you, I'm trying that, to help. Isn't that trying to help people one? out? Yeah, uh, it's the pink app. It's called T-Mobile Tuesdays. They give away stuff every Tuesday. Again, just a PSA. But if you go there now, you can download or uh, you can um, redeem a free season of MLB TV. Who are the uh, entrants into the Hall of Fame this year? I, they don't come off the top of my brain. But with the Hall of Fame, uh, the entrance uh, celebration is traditionally the first uh, professional NFL football uh, practice of the year. So the class um, as a whole is um, a, an interesting one. It, it is absent Darren Woodson. Yeah, so no, no Woodson, so I didn't pay any attention to anything after that. Dwight Freeney. Oh, that's right. 
worthy. Devin Hester. He goes in right before the new kickoff roll, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Well, so we're going to talk um, about it in a sec. Andre Johnson of the Houston Texans. First, first Texan in the Hall of Fame. The aforementioned Julius Peppers. Patrick Willis. And Randy Gratishar is a senior nominee, as is Steve McMichael. Well, in That's honor of Andre, kind of like, you know, the Cowboys have been invited when guys, their guys were going in. The Texans are going to make their appearance at the Hall of Fame game and celebrate mm-hmm. the first and the best to ever play the position in uh, Houston Texans lore, Andre Johnson getting in. Um, that's good. I, I'm, I'm, you know. Well, they haven't had an opportunity yeah. to be in the game, obviously, because for anyone who, if it isn't obvious, the Hall of Fame game generally features two teams that really strongly represent the class. So, you know, if you have like the year Troy Aikman went in the Hall of Fame, the Cowboys were, you know, in the, in the Hall of Fame game. Um, so because it is the first Houston Texan ever to go into the Hall of Fame, you have the Texans finally playing. Uh, and in the there's game. some benefit to it. You get to start practice a week early, get another little uh, opportunity to get your guys into it. That's a good thing for just about any team to get invited. That's very, very true. Um, so we've got the Texans on behalf of Andre, and we have the Bears on behalf of Devin Hester. Oh, I thought it was because um, didn't. It was for the for Caleb. Well, the, it's the also on behalf Hall of, of Famer. Well, that, that's definitely not going to hurt, uh, but um, Steve McMichael, obviously. Oh, um, you know, God yeah. bless. Prayers. Big Dub stuff. Bears, uh, 85 Bears. I mean, it's all, like that's one of those teams that I will never, ever tire of hearing stories about. They're uh, just the dude. legend that was. Now, could the Chicago Bears defensive lore, the greatest defense of all time, survive with the hip drop tackle? Because you can't do that no more. And man, oh, I don't man. think so. Did you, have you heard the players upset at this? Uh, RG three said some stuff. I saw a uh, punter, I, but Pat McAfee uh, is upset with this. I didn't think there'd be such universal. Well, I guess it's not universal, but I didn't think there'd be such vocal anger toward this. Kenyon Drake had a tweet yesterday where he was like, I don't care if I'm in the minority, you know, I'm a fan of this. I, I lost, you know, my ankle and part of the 2021 season to a hip drop tackle. There's no question. Like, I don't think anybody is, is, of the opinion i'm a fan in, in no, nobody is is at all saying i'm a fan of dangerous tackles that <laughs> yeah. injure players that's nobody's i think the fear is so many natural tackle movements look like that right and the fear is the way in which this is going to be officiated when we had the pass interference change now what was that uh five years ago it was a disaster. I mean, <laughs> NFL officiating is not reliable already. So now you're asking them to do this. And even though the, you know, reporting has been that these are going to be kind of um, New York moderated things and it's going to be more fines than flags or whatever the case may be. Which... I mean, now you're talking about dudes who are going to get, you know, I, 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 it's, it's hard to, again, the tackle is unfortunate because it hurts players and this affected the Cowboys. Uh, two years ago now in the divisional round, but the reality too is that sometimes you know you're not you're not trying to tackle right. someone that way. It's it's a it's a quick violent game. I mean, you're just trying to bring somebody down, and you don't realize exactly what you're doing. Now, there's obviously dudes who are I don't want to say mean spirited, but you know they're they're not as uh, as kind in their attempts. But so it feels like you're penalizing the greater bunch because of a I don't even want to say a handful of moments, but. It's it's a really 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 thin line to try to balance. I saw the number. Forgive me. I don't think it's exact, but it's upwards of like uh, of last season. The NFL documented two hundred and thirty plus right in their hip drop tackles, and of that number, fifteen of them resulted in time being lost by the guy that got tackled, whether short term or long term. That's a ridiculously high number. I mean, there there should be no question. We got to fix this and take it one step further. You know, defensive guys, uh, I got some bad news for you. This is an offensive league. <laughs> this has everything to do with offense and making it more difficult for the defense to stop the offense. And it's going to continue to be that way. Now, this kind of helps the safety side of things. But, you know, at the end of the day, if you can't, if you're a little, you know, quarterback trying to tackle a tight end and your method to get them down was to jump on their back and do a little twist action, that's gone. And yeah, it's going to, you're going to have to find another way to have them trip up on your body but you can't do what you used to do. It sucks. But stop your bitching about put flags on him. And you know what? This is a man's game in my day. 
you know what? Every generation has bitched about something like this. Yes, this is the game, and it's moving forward. I don't think anyone is saying it's a man's game. Like, I don't know that anybody's take is that, but I do think it's it's fair to say you're making it really difficult to play defense. You you can you have to sack the quarterback like through you know while threading a needle. You know what I mean? Like you now have to tackle anybody while threading a needle. You know, you and what if this happens on like third and six? You know what I'm saying? And and you you don't mean to do that, but like the weird contortions of the human body send you in one direction and you hurt your team while making a tackle, while making a stop. You know, it's it's fair to say this is a really you're you're asking defenders to do and balance and manage a lot, you know, in a moment's notice. Mm-hmm. I, I completely understand why they're upset. I understand change is different and as such you fear it, but it, it it's just the natural progression of the game. There's a lot of stuff that we used to do that we don't do anymore. You know, and I thought, you know, when, when they outlawed the horse collar, there wasn't anybody upset with that except Roy <laughs> or so well, Roy Williams, I mean, but other than that, everybody went, thank you. And I, I would, I would have been, I was just kind of surprised that it was not universal about timeness on this because we had seen it and we talked about it enough. Now, another rule horse change, collar is like not a, a natural No, you're right. You're movement. right. But it you was saying? Like, a commonly what, used thing that was just kind of accentuated by one dude. And we thought, well, that's got to stop. And it wasn't right, even about like, injuries. It was just easier to tackle. This is so close. Like, Think about when you teach someone or, or kids or whatever are taught how to tackle. Like, it, it so closely mirrors this motion. You get what I'm saying? So, like, the level of ambiguity here is really, really, really thin. And you're asking a notoriously unreliable group of officials to be the judge, jury, and executioner on that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like I that. agree. So, it, it's fair to be really, really concern that it's not going to work well with that in mind the nfl did progress with something that's a little bit less of an interpretive thing the eye in the sky so you know i've always been a proponent of less human uh, more digital and, and things like this where we we eliminate the possibility of human error as much as we can so what is the eye in the sky going to be allowed to cover to take care of now with you know out of new york or in the building that they weren't able to do up until this year this is, I mean, it doesn't seem like there's any real significant development there. Like, I don't know that there's like a, a real change. The biggest changes that we're seeing now are this hip drop thing and the new kickoff. The new kickoff is going to well, be. There's real- something to allowing. What I'm getting at is where if we're, if we're upset with referees having to make judgment calls, you know, kind of in, in the eye of the beholder, was that a hip drop or was that just a tackle? Did he throw his weight down? Did he mean to? And, and whether it's an envelope or a yellow flag. Um, we're trying to get it out of their hands. And I think the more you expand the, you know, the, the camera and the, in the technological side, the less we put on referees plates. And while it might not be huge, it is an expansion. And, but you're right. As far as day-to-day play, the kickoff's going to be, uh, it's going to be it, more of a flop shot for the idea. Is that the idea for kickoffs? Yeah. You still get to kick it, but kicking it far and onside too far, too short, ain't gonna work. You're going to have so to this do is- a little lob lob wedge action. This is difficult to describe in an audio medium, but I will do my best. So the kicker is the place kicker is going to line up where they always have, right? So they're on their own 35 yard line. Uh, the kickoff team, the remaining 10 men, will line up on the other side of the 50, the far side of the 50, mm-hmm. on the 40 yard line. Okay. So there's 40 yards between them and the goal line. The defending kickoff team, nine of the 11 players, will line up about five yards is seven yards ish off them so you've got the defending kickoff team lining up at about their 35 32 33 yard line and then you've got the return men sitting or one whatever the case may be if you have two back that's up to you um sitting around their own five yard line so and that's kicker, where the ball ideally by the standard kick length would land so not out of bounds so the kicker's not gonna land there but no action can part can can commence until the ball is in the hands of the returner you got what i'm saying yes so the moment so the ball handler receives the kickoff physically and, and now they have their run. they have their yeah they have their up men about 30 yards in front of them and the defenders about five yards off of them and the scrum isn't you know running from opposite sides of the field and bam it's just immediate you know kind of pushing shoving while whatever's happening it will be more exciting it I'll will be more pinball with without the hectic you know 
it will be more pinball and less boulder chasing Indiana Jones down the uh, steep um, at your various. Disney It'll Washington. add at least two kickoff returns for touchdowns. I, yeah, I, I think I it will that. add that. I, I I can tell you this as a Cowboy fan, I'm awfully happy that Bones Fossil is still around in the Cowboys locker room because this is one of those special team coaches are now on notice. Dude, you you can't rely on the wedge. You know, the, your your bomb squad dudes sacrificing life and limb charging down to stop kicks now. You're you're now playing defense. I mean, you're well, it's you, like re, uh, covering a punt now. You brought this up yesterday um after the show when we were eating some kielbasa and they were fantastic and you um you put on your hat that led to the we'll mullet the situation. Yes. Uh but um but you brought up, I mean, there's a I wouldn't say a lot, but there's a, at least a lot league wide. But there's a handful on every team of roster spots that are going to be lost. Yes, yeah. because you no longer need that because this is less ceremonial, but it's also less vicious. Right. So and, and that is obviously the point. And so you're going to need, you know, defenders, certainly. But it is more of a defensive play now than it is like your classic. Just all we need you to do is blast down the field and figure things out. So, again, Ironic that Devin Hester's entering the Hall of Fame right as this gets set to begin. And ironic that Matthew Slater, the New England Patriots' longtime special teams ace, uh, retired this offseason as well. Though That, you know, your Bill Bateses of the world, like your stories about how, like Terrell Davis on the Broncos, he made his, his mark in the NFL on, on return or on the gunner team as a gunner. I mean, on kickoffs, like if, if not for a kickoff, Terrell Davis maybe never makes the Broncos roster and never turns into this incredible running back. So it's um, it's a different era, different time. Hey, coming up at the nine o'clock, we'll continue looking at the new rules, how they're going to affect the game and what's the most likely unintended consequence of this new kickoff rule or the drop tackle that is now outlawed and findable. We'll look there. The Spurs. Win without Wimby. The big baguette didn't show, but the team did. We're going to come back looking at the Spurs and why did they play so free and easy without him? You'd think it would go the other way around. They win, but the questions persist, and we'd like to thank Phoenix for providing the Spurs one quarter nearly of all their wins this season. We're looking back to a win as the Spurs close out the season with the Suns. Gosh, I wish we got them three more times. We're talking about it next. You're on 94-1. San Antonio sports star. I hope you're washed clean underneath a Connecticut water sop and shower this morning. I know the best thing about your day is getting going and uh, having a nice uh, Connecticut water shower is, is perfect. And I hope you didn't think about it because, you know, that's the thing about a Connecticut. You should never have to think about your softener again. Once you get a Connecticut, you're under, working under a, a different set of rules. See, Connecticut is designed and made in the United States with South Texas, South and Central Texas in mind. You know, the limestone that filters our water uh, into the aquifer, whether it's coming in through uh, city pipes or through a well, it, it filters it nice. But I'll tell you what, the stuff that comes up, well, it, it leaves in your pipes and it lands on your skin and in your mouth and then in your dog's dish and everywhere else. You don't want all that sediment. You want it gone. It protects your pipes and you. Connecticut is designed for this in mind. And to find out, uh, the Canippas have an offer for you. How about 90 days of a Connecticut water softener? The best you can get free of charge with no commitment. If you'll call 656-PURE, 656-PURE, the Kinnipas will send a Connecticut expert out to your home. They'll put a Connecticut in. You'll see what I'm talking about. And in 91 days, you're going to be just like me. You're going to be Connecticut water softener with a, a warranty that's going to last you. And they tell you, and I believe it, it is the last water softener you're ever going to own. Go to, to ConnecticutSA.com. Get all the details there, but call 656-PURE as soon as you can. Get that Connecticut in your house. I'll tell you what, you're going to thank me later on this one. This is the Morning Huddle with Robin RJ. Right Morning 6 to 10, KTFM Floorsville, and everywhere at sasportstar.com. If you've been thinking about buying a new car or pre-owned car, truck, or SUV, think Ansira.com. Browse through thousands of new and pre-owned cars, trucks, SUVs, and RVs. Shop for your next new Chevrolet, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Ford, Buick, or GMC. Or if you're looking for an import, we have a huge selection of Kias, VWs, and Nissans. Or for your home away from home, a full line of RVs and campers. And you'll always get the lowest Ansira price in-store or online at Ansira.com. Listen to this station anytime, anywhere on Odyssey. Odyssey is your new audio home for all the music, news, sports, and podcasts that matter to you. Odyssey. That's A-U-D-A-C-Y. 
Jason Minnick's here from the Blitz. You know, with the tournament here, the college basketball pick em is the easiest way to get in on the action and a fan favorite way to play fantasy sports. If you've made your bracket, it's probably already kind of ugly. Well, there's another way to keep playing with your bracket already busted. It's the pick em game at Underdog Fantasy, where you pick between two and five players to build your pick em entry. And all you have to do is select higher or lower on all different kinds of stats in this week's tournament games for a chance to win big, up to 100 times your money in a single night endless projections to choose from create your own experience so download the underdog fantasy app or go to underdogfantasy.com sign up with my promo code star and underdog will match your first deposit up to 100 dollars. plus you'll get a mystery special pick to use in your first pick of entry must be over 18 and present in a state where underdog fantasy operates terms apply concerned with your play call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit ncpgambling.org again promo code star at underdogfantasy.com at BetUS.com, why do we care about a college basketball tournament every March? Where bets mean everything? Because it's March Mania, where glory triumphs and anything can happen. Where underdogs can make or break our hearts. Because it's March Mania, where brackets are broken and buzzers are beaten. And there's always been a sports book there for you and your best buds. Because it's March Mania. BetUS has been with you through 30 marches together. And like any good six man, we've always had your back. And because it's March, BetUS.com is matching the mania with a mad offer. Back to back to back. 125% sign up bonus on your first three deposits. And the extra confidence that comes from a 10% gambler's insurance. Because anything can happen during March mania. Bet U.S. Sportsbook and Casino, where the game begins. Get started today. Guys, did you know your testosterone affects everything in your system, including how you feel and perform every day? Right now, Revive Men's Health San Antonio will check your testosterone for free. Knowing your T levels is the first step in understanding if you have low T. Your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED. Maintaining an appropriate T level can change your whole life. Most men start to see changes in their hormone levels in their 30s. Experience and results matter. So what are you waiting for? Get your T levels checked today by local, experienced, and trusted men's health experts. They've helped thousands of men since 2011. They're so confident they can help you, they even guarantee it. Call Revive today and schedule your free testosterone test, free exam, and free consultation. Call Revive Men's Health at 210-615-7777. That's 210-615-7777. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. San Antonio's Sports Center. At the annual NFL League meeting, the owners have decided to unanimously ban the hip drop tackle, making it a 15-yard personal foul penalty. They've also decided to give the eye in the sky a little more power in the replay assistance, and the kickoff has changed just about entirely. In the NBA, the Spurs beat the Suns without Victor Wimbanyana, 104-102. Jeremy Sohan hit the winning shot. Sports Center is brought to you by Buyers Barricades, the Texas Authority in Barricade Rental. BuyersBarricades.com. Rembignano three. Goal! Goes behind the back here. Oh! Little sidestep and a jam by Rembignano. This is the morning huddle on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. With Rob Thompson and the managing editor of Blogging the Boys, R.J. Ochoa. Now, here's Rob and R.J. Hey, gather around. We got stuff to talk about. The morning huddle continues. Three hours in the hole, one to come. If you missed anything prior, set your alarm. Where you been? Uh, you can go to sasportstar.com. Make sure you go to the audio vault. They're brought to you by A.A. Best Bail Bonds. Uh, subscribe to all things we do, and you'll get all the reminders that you require. And you can use that as your podcast central. And uh, while you're there at sasportstar.com, go check your brackets. We're going to talk uh, your brackets here and where we sit with the Sweet 16. Caitlin's Chase and the ladies in just a couple of minutes, but first the Spurs. Uh, last night uh, said goodbye to the Phoenix Suns this series, and we're going to miss this season. We're going to miss those guys. Spurs have uh, 16 wins, and uh, three of them. <laughs> have come at the uh, expense of the uh, Phoenix Suns. If I'm Frank Vogel, man, 
Uh, the, the Suns are headed into the most difficult stretch of games that any NBA team has had all season long. For the next 10, it is a, a gauntlet of games. And uh, to lose, as they <laughs> leave San Antonio, after three days of golf and, I guess, some enchiladas, uh, I can't imagine what that flight was worth. But I don't care about them Suns. They laid down and gave the Spurs a win. And it was how the Spurs played, not so much the win, but I think a lot of people noticed because that was a Spurs team last night that was genuinely having a lot of fun. Now, Phoenix helped them by just kind of standing around for a half, but watching Jeremy, you know, play his game and Keldon is always exuberant and when things are going his way, even more so. It was just a fun, fast-paced game that the Spurs tried to lose. But at the end, Jeremy, a Jeremy of all people, hit a three uh, with about 30 seconds to go to win. It was exciting. Yeah. It was riveting. It was terrifying. It was nauseating. It was enthralling. It was ridiculous and it was stupid, but it was dumb and beautiful and smart and intelligent all at the same time. Um, the only real demerit I have with, to assign here is that they were wearing those horrible uniforms. Okay. Um, you know, although, like I said, we talked about yesterday, my wife made me feel like the logo's Awesome. The logo kinda, isn't bad. I, I think we all yeah. could agree that in its proper place, it's really the just the brown. Like if if the brown was was like black, I think I'd be down. You know what I'm saying? Like if you just oh. shaded in everything that was brown as black, I think I could get down with it. But that's neither here nor there. Oh, it's there. Jeremy Sohan, Devin Vassell, dude. How about Zach Collins? I mean, <laughs> what a like. It was just a cool game. It was. It was. It kind of felt like, um, you know, I, I guess when you're a kid and. Maybe you didn't totally experience this. I promise this is not a, a slight. But like when the power's out and you can't play the, the video game console, you're like, I guess I'll play with the toys. You know what I mean? And you're <laughs> like, hey, this is kind of fun. You know, like, like this, there's a lot of fun that I can have here. You know what I mean? I don't need technology. Look at me go. You know, on our brigade bar, Gilbert Padilla puts up there, seeing the Spurs play without Wimby reminds me of the Spurs that Pop was trying to hold back last season so they could uh, tank up. Uh, I don't think that's that's the situation. I think when you didn't have Victor in there, that that, that took a piece away that that is the primary focus of everything they've done this year. And without him, there's zero expectation. And I have zero doubt that they they see the socials. They hear us complaining that give it to Wimby, give it to Wimby, Wimby's first option, last option, give it to Wimby, how dare you shoot. Um, and for the most part, I think we're right in those complaints. But without him... They had a good time, and there was no second guessing on offense. There was no, where's Wimby and should I throw it to him? It was a, an active offensive game. And the key to all this, and let's not get lost, the with Wimby Spurs won because there were only seven turnovers. The Spurs won because their leading turnover maker, their leader in turnover over, is their best player and Victor Wimbanyama, but they mm. won with seven turnovers. I'm, I'm pulling up a search here. How many times as I do this and need you to vamp for me here, how many times do you think the Spurs have had seven or fewer turnovers? Oh my season? gosh. I can't it, on, on this season. You can count it on one hand. Now the Spurs came in one and seven without Victor. Um, the last time they played without Victor, remember it was a win, and they played a lot like they played last night. So it's kind of difficult to put into context when you have the rookie of the year, arguably the best defensive player in the year of the year, and your team is better without him. And only 15, 15 wins were actually only 14 wins worth with him because two of the wins we've had are without him. So successful job vamping by you um, through, through the 2023-2024 season. So if we count back, obviously, back to the fall, they've done it twice. Twice. The Spurs have had seven or fewer turnovers. Um, both of them win. Ah! This, win this, this win, obviously. And then um, at Detroit, when they trounced them back in January, that was uh, the 130-108 win. Now, prior to that, they did do it uh twice last season and they lost both of those games uh so it's you know there was a plan there, there was a whole other thing going on though look th this is a big number i recognize that so it's it's it sounds like an oxymoron they have only had seven or fewer turnovers in a game 138 times it's like, hard history to do, man that's hard that's, like when you think when you think about like over the like i don't even know how many you know franchise games it might be you know i don't know what the observer number 
times. But like to have only done that 138 times is a really, really, really small percentage. So that's pretty sick. Uh, I had an old coach in college anyway, fewer, shorter game. Anything over eight, you don't deserve to win. Anything over eight turnovers, you don't deserve to win. Because one, you don't care about the ball. You don't care about the ball, you can't win. And while the Spurs did win without Wimby last night, it was chaotic at best. I mean, uh, once the Phoenix Suns realized, hey, this is getting out of hand, uh, things got weird, and the Spurs, quite frankly, didn't handle it well. But at the end of the day, the least likely culprit of all, Jeremy Sohan hits a three to put the lead up for good and to win the game. Jeremy had a chance to sit down. The brand new Polish Olympian uh, in post game yesterday talked about uh, the game he had and more importantly, what the Spurs have to do when they play without Wimby because it hadn't been often, but they've been moderately successful, at least recently doing it. And they've turned some things up. This is Jeremy. Yeah, I think he's just understanding, um, you know, he's a key piece that we're missing. And I think that makes, you know, and we need to be more connected in that sense if if, if we're missing him. So uh, just, you know, the, we, we got to do stuff he, he does. Where that's defense, you know, rebounding, um, making it difficult for people to score in the paint. Um, and, you know, because we don't have him as a key piece, you know, we have to be connected. Uh, we got to help each other more. Um, and play fast. So, yeah. Uh, Jeremy so had post game after winning uh, and him uh, hitting the uh, winning shot. The what, what, First of all, more, Rob, we need more and more and more of Jeremy. I don't care what he's talking about. I just need more of it. So, what did he say they need to make it more difficult for people to do? Again, talking about it in a wimby world. Well, there's a couple. Okay. He said we need to make it more difficult for people to score in the play. Right. And right. what you'd think. Well, this goes back to the conversation we've been having for for almost a week now. Is you know, if we if we take different quotes, right? If, if we're if we're creating our own kind of a vision board, right, and we're cutting little things out and putting it on, Wemby comes out last week and says, "Oh, my job is to score baskets," and then he doesn't do really, really do that. And I, I'm not. This isn't like a dump on Wemby thing uh, by any stretch. Comes on, says, "My job is to score baskets." We all say, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, Miss Lippy, uh, wait a minute. Um, your job is to defend the hoop." Your job is to play defense. Your job is to block shots. Your job is to do all of this stuff. And lo and behold, Jeremy comes out and says, what do we have to do when Wimby's not there? We have to make it more difficult for when people are in the paint. That's Wimby's number one job. Protect the paint. You are the artiste. You have to be, no, no one should enter the airspace of the paint when Wimby is around. And that is, again, something to me that, that sort of refocuses what the emphasis should be on him so you can miss me with this you have to draft a big you have to find a big you have to whatever you know new big stuff you have your big it's victor Wembanyama. do not waste time finding another big do not convince yourself no offense jeremy thank you for the quote thank you for the shot that jeremy is enough to rely on from a point scoring standpoint absolutely not but we will take what we got and notice how pop uh, celebrated the player of the game that jeremy was and how he described what he did and the one thing he did not talk about KD is such a difficult matchup for everybody. You know, he's one of the greatest ever. And uh, Jeremy never stopped working his butt off. I mean, he's very physical and uh, did everything he could to guard a great player. So he deserves a lot of credit. And he also hit the board for us. And he had about, I don't, I didn't see the, I think 16, 17 boards, I think, uh, tonight. Was it? Yeah. So he was, he was very special. Uh, Greg Popovich post game. In fact, I believe Jeremy had 18, a career high, uh, 26, a game winning shot there, just about 30 to go. He made the shot, but all pop talked about was the thing that you're talking about. RJ the, to, to get favor in pop's eyes, baskets come and go defense matters. Baskets come and go protecting the ball matters. And the Spurs won yesterday because they only had seven turnovers. Now, I don't want to get lost in the fact that, oh, the Spurs, boy, they, you know, without Wimby, man, they just look like they're having so much fun and, and they're winning. And man, that's nice. Why do we even need a Wimby? Now, that's not the conversation at all. But I don't want any of these three guys to get lost in the idea that this is the way the Spurs are going, that this free and easy fun and Victor just playing this part. No, everything we do is about Wimby's success first. And you guys are going to have to fall in the line. Last night was nice, but there's going to be no adjustment from Wimby to match your need to be free and easy. 
I agree. Um, <laughs> I mean, it. that's what, you know, I don't want to, like, ruin the party, right? Like, right. we're having such a good time. Like, today is really fun. But at the end of the day, it's like, hey, you know all that stuff y'all did? That doesn't really matter. Uh, it's <laughs> true. And I don't want to get lost in this, but the whole season has about, been about – you guys adjusting to Wimby. Now, he needs to adjust to you guys a little bit. But for every 25% adjustment on him, we expect 70 on your end. You come to him. He's not coming to you. And so when he's gone and you guys flourish like that, uh, there's there's questions. First of all, like, Pop, what are we doing here? Uh, is he truly hindering things? And if he is, where's the rub? Because we're going to have to fix this faster than we thought. I mean, we're I think he's hindering things in a way that – um like, do you skip leg day, Rob? You know, I right? have. Like, I have never skipped the leg day because I've never scheduled one. Well, okay, but you get my point. Like, he's hindering things in the way that, like, leg day hinders your, you know, or in the way that, like, the Spurs are becoming really, really, really fit. You get what I'm saying? And so it's like, oh man, now we can like run more, and now we can be active more, and now we can lift heavier things, and you know, whatever. It's like, yeah, well, th this change is good. This this change is for the greater good. It may feel weird in the short term but like you all have to grow and you all have to adapt and you all have to adjust like we can all have cheat days of meals but at the end of the day eating this way is is better for our body you know right. what i'm saying and so you know it's fun and it's interesting but like that candy and ice cream last night you know cool i'm, I'm happy you enjoyed it but now now we're back on the regiment that's I, that's where we're at well put last night was a cheat night i hope you enjoyed right. your ice cream I, I hope you enjoyed that candy before you went to bed because uh well, and, that was you got to go to bed good, late, you know what i mean you. like yeah, you didn't. You didn't have to brush your teeth. You know what I mean? Like yeah, it was just com complete and total chaos. Everyone gets that that kind of burn night. But now back to the routine. Back and and it will be hard. You know what I mean to kind of get back in order. But you have to. It's for the greater good. Now, as we progress through the end of the season, uh, the uh, Spurs are done. We're paying attention to draft picks, um, and we we're going to talk in a little bit about gambling with Shohei Otani. And there's another, there's a new allegation uh, regarding a Toronto Raptor player. And I bring this up only because this directly affects you, Spurs fan. A Toronto Raptor player was betting on himself or somebody was betting on him uh, on an under situation in a couple of different games. The Toronto Raptors own a draft pick that the Spurs desperately want, and they have to win uh, to get themselves in a position to get that draft pick or the, or the Raptors will lose. The more they lose, the less likely it is the Spurs will get it because it's a protective top pick. So I can put it to you that there is a cheating scenario going on in the NBA that has directly affected Spurs fans. We need Toronto to win games, not to tank them as an organization and players to tank himself at the same time. They should be out there to win every game, right? The Spurs did. Last night, without Wimby, we went out and won a basketball game. That should be a transparent enough opportunity out there to tell us these players care. There's a player I in suppose. Toronto that – tanked and it's directly affecting me it's not a victimless crime i want the spurs to get a top five pick from toronto and a guy who's tanking on his own helping another team a, a higher level tank that's the kind of questions we're headed towards shohei otani yesterday spoke uh we're going to hear from his interpreter not him because he can't uh speak the english language and that's been his problem he'll tell you what he what he says happened and we'll decide whether you believe it or not and the bigger ramifications of what we're looking at gambling and sports they're married but is it going to end in an ugly divorce or are they going to work things out we're taking some therapy next uh hold on for that and we're going to hear from stephen jones after that and talking about his dallas cowboys and the tremendous talent that they have stockpiled uh in preparation for what will be a banner year yeah we got more to do stay around with us this is the morning huddle he's rj i'm rob reach out and touch us in a digital way and we will giggle with delight uh we'll be right back uh hold on you're on 94 one san antonio sports star you know, um, the Institute for Functional Health, I met Dr. Jacob Torres about seven years ago, eight years ago. I'm down about 70 pounds. That's well documented. But I want to talk to people about that ramifications of what happens after you lose the weight. You know, you, you, you deal with being obese and over overweight and you deal with the carrying around the extra stuff. You're snoring a lot more. You have that brain fog because you never really get enough sleep. You're probably snoring and sleep apnea might be playing a role. 
probably too caffeinated and, and too much sugar. You're probably dealing with some hypertension and some things that you need to address. But once you start addressing those things, then you can address the long-term mileage issues that just living a long life not to get to. If you're dealing with painful joints that all that extra weight carried on, while you lose the weight and the joints might feel better, there might be some permanent damage in there, some things that might need to be done above and beyond. That's the benefit of losing the weight. Now you can address the long-term problems. And Dr. Torres is there to help. So if you're dealing with those long-term joint pain like your knees, uh, they've got a variety of treatments that are covered by your insurance that can fix and help some things that you might not need to worry about until you lost the weight and started living a healthier lifestyle. Now, the first thing is to lose the weight, and there's no better place to go to than Dr. Torres. They've got the program that is based in science, and they've helped a bunch of people just like you. I am living proof. I told you already. Walked in there nearly 300 Walking around now, right about 2.30, it's still a journey. I'm still going. But how many people do you know that have been on a wellness program like this for more than just a couple of months? I'm existing quite well, thank you, seven years in. You want that? It's easy. Go to their website. Go to the IFFHealth.com and take the functional test. But you're not going to know until you go. I want you to call Dr. Torres and talk to him person to person and let him explain to you exactly what he told me that he can change your life if you're ready to buy in. He can change your life. If you're ready to commit, he will help you get across the finish line. Call him today, 210-468-1891. Jump on a program you can live with for a long time. And when you do, you're going to be thanking everybody around you, but you can thank me later. 941 San Antonio Sports Star is your home for college basketball's national championship. On their way to their 12th national title game. 68 teams, Sweet 16, Elite 8, the Final Four, one winner takes all. Hear it all on your home for March Madness. 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star, presented by Westwood One. Flight by Yingling is the next generation of light beer. For those who don't follow trends, but craft them. Flight by Yingling is 12 ounces of uncompromised refreshment from America's oldest brewery. With only 2.6 grams of carbs and 95 calories, this is premium refreshment, six generations in the making. Don't just raise a glass, raise the bar. Flight by Yingling, available wherever beer is sold. DG Yingling and Sun Incorporated, Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Please enjoy responsibly. We're in the studio right now with Jose Rios from the Gomez Law Firm. Jose, tell us a little about Gomez Law. Number one priority is to let the people know that we are a law firm that's been part of this community for almost 50 years. You know, Mr. Gomez, he's been a practicing attorney here since 1973. He's born and raised here in San Antonio, done nothing but help out personal injury victims for almost half a century. It's very important that we get that out to the San Antonio community because a lot of these attorneys like to come in here and act like they're from here, but you know, they're all out of towners. They don't know, they don't know what goes on here. They really don't know. If you have been injured in an accident, injured at work or hit by a company vehicle, don't take on the big insurance companies by yourself. Call the Gomez Law Firm at 736-4040. We've been around for almost 50 years and we're not going anywhere. And remember, Gomez Law Fights. If you have been injured in an accident, injured at work, or hit by a company vehicle, the first place you need to go is JoeGomezLaw.com. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency on earth. And if you owe back taxes, the news isn't good. The IRS is raising the interest rate it charges on unpaid taxes, and further rate hikes are expected. Most people don't know it, but the IRS adds interest charges on your tax debt daily. So if you owe the IRS today, you will owe even more tomorrow. And it doesn't stop until you get right with the IRS. The good news is getting right can start with one phone call to Optima Tax Relief, America's number one tax relief firm. Optima's tax professionals specialize in the Fresh Start Initiative, a powerful IRS program that can save you thousands if you qualify. In fact, the experts at Optima Tax have resolved over $1 billion in tax debt for their clients. Call now for a free consultation. Call 800-970-3199. That's 800-970-3199. 800-970-3199. Optima Tax Relief. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. 
In Bear County, one in three people have low access to healthy food since they live one mile or more from a grocery store. The City of San Antonio Healthy Corner Stores are helping to change that. With more than 45 member Healthy Corner Store locations, fresh fruits and vegetables are now within reach at your neighborhood store. And all Healthy Corner Stores accept SNAP benefits. For more information, visit sanantonio.gov slash healthy corner stores. Remember, visit sanantonio.gov slash healthy corner stores. San Antonians love a good party, and the Valero Texas Open is one you don't want to miss. Enjoy food, drinks, and the world's best PGA Tour pros as they tee it up at TPC San Antonio. Proceeds help us continue a long-standing tradition of giving back to our community. So buy tickets on ValeroTexasOpen.com and join us April 4th through the 7th. Check out the 2024 Basketball Mayhem at sasportstar.com. Enter your best bracket for the chance to win an incredible $1 million prize at sasportstar.com. There's a great piece in blogging the boys about the Dallas Cowboys owner, Jerry Jones, and his business acumen, how he runs the Cowboys as a business and his other businesses as well. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, the business side of the Cowboys and how it's been represented recently and over time and uh, how it's manifesting now. And you're going to see some things that you know, it's going to open your eyes. The Cowboys ain't what you think they are. That's at the end of the day. And Jerry ain't that guy that we think he is. It, it's a, it's a outstanding brand uh, and how it came into being. But behind the scenes, this is more about money than W's. And you're going to see. We're going to talk about this in a couple minutes. Um, uh, Shohei Otani yesterday. I uh, finally had the uh, had the chance to uh, you know set the record straight and offer us his side of the story again through an interpreter, which at the end of the day is appears to be at least by his defense the reason he's in this pickle because he he hasn't learned the English language and has had a guy be his go between and it appears been the really the sole outlet for him into the world at large because to believe his story, this guy has hoodwinked him for for a long time led him to believe that everything he thought was true was not. And because he was the only, I don't know, conduit, go-between between between the English language world, the business world, and him, that he was led astray in horrible ways. His interpreter that had been employed by the Dodgers of recent but had been with him for years, his best friend, had stolen $4.5 million. This is him telling the world, look, man, or at least his interpreter telling the world, look, man, I had nothing to do with any of this. So I never bet on baseball, any other sports, or never have asked somebody to do it on my behalf. Uh, and I have never uh, went through a bookmaker uh, to bet on sports. A vehement denial of all things accused. There's a, a story in The Athletic that I think is really interesting. And, you know, in the, in a time like this, everybody's got their tinfoil hat on. Uh-huh. So you wonder, I know I do. You wonder, you know, who's who's being asked to, to put what into the universe. And it's a story about the interpreter, the original interpreter. Ipe. Ipe. And um, his, I don't want to call it checkered past, but not exactly confirmed. Um, so he is, um, his, his in the loss, cause, so Shohei obviously played for the Angels forever. So uh, in the Angels media guide, the interpreter, Ipe, was, was a featured part of it, I guess, as the interpreter. Right. And, um, Obviously, he's an employee of the team. And his media guide bio listed that he graduated, I think, from UC Riverside. And that never happened. Um, oh, a padded resume. He, okay. Yeah. Um, so, you know, look and looking into this, you know, he, there's no record of him ever having graduated from the university. It also lists that he worked with the New York Yankees um, in spring training in 2012, I believe. Uh, but there was only one player who he was commissioned to translate for on the Yankees, and he wasn't. He was uh, released or waived or um, whatever, uh, DFA'd in February of 2012. So way before spring training really began. Um, so he wasn't a part of spring training with the Yankees then. It also lists him having worked for the Red Sox, and the Red Sox have come out and said that he's never. That we have we've you know checked all of our files. We have no record whatsoever of him ever having worked for us. Um, so I do think that there's. <laughs> 
a lot of distancing that people are trying to put between themselves and him. But I do wonder if if that's a, a pro Shohei See. uh you know person that's like, we need to drag this dude. You know what I mean? We need to make this dude look very, very, very checkered. So nothing he says is believable by anybody. So, so yesterday he comes says, I had nothing to do with it. And the this story does benefit him. And and because this was, you know, below board and the, the story has changed at least twice and by my count now three times, kind of. I mean, there was the first story from Ipe, there was a second story, now we're at the third story, and this was Ipe, I mean, this was Shohei's current story. And he he came across as believable. I, I didn't look at him like he was shifty or anything like that, but there are still so many questions and we're in this, you know, information gathering stage of everything and we already have things breaking. We already are finding out that at least by this reporting, whoever wherever that came from, that this guy is not what he said he was, at least by the resume or at least by the press guy. Now, whether the angels knew that it wasn't real or not, I don't know, but at least uh, so far it's looking bad for him. And I think that, you know, every major sports outlet is now digging in every possible place in Shohei's history, maybe a little bit deeper than they ever did because we were looking for necessarily damning stuff before but now we're looking for not just the bad because we like to know about the bad with our stars but we're talking about damning you know prison worth stuff now with four and a half million dollars gamble with an illegal book in california and whether it was taken or it was given or whether it was in, done in in cahoots or you know kind of a, for a bro uh it matters every one of these stories matters and rj you've done a good job of there's three different parts of this there's the there's the worst possible there's the best possible worst scenario, and then there's one kind of in between. So, it, yeah, and, and those three parameters give us what they are again. I think, and this is through the lens of Shohei, right? Like, what's right. you know, from his vantage point, best possible is he's completely innocent and truly is just this naive, right? Like, this gullible, like that. That's the story. This is one of those that's what they like, want us to believe, right? Like, if he if he truly is guilty, that's one of the most difficult conversations <laughs> I'm sure for a PR person to have with him is like. Look, man, we're gonna have to make you look really stupid. Really stupid. Like we're 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 gonna have to sell that you are the dumbest person alive to have let this happen to you. No, I mean, yeah, like uh, that's com the complete truth because that's the only way it's believable. So, best case scenario, he is truly this naive, this trusting, this gullible, this whatever. Uh, and this happened, you know, the the big bad wolf, you know, snuck in in sheep's clothing, whatever. Um, best worst case scenario is that he was gambling, Shohei, whether himself individually or through, um, you know, his friend on non MLB right. properties. This plan right? and, and, what would have been legal if he'd have been in Nevada or and, any other state yeah, so, that has it. So his crime is the literal crime of illegal gambling in the state of California. Location. And through using an illegal book. Right. Um, which is not necessarily the case in other situations. But um the worst worst case scenario is obviously he was not only committing a crime um in, in gambling in where he cannot legally but that he was also gambling on Major League Baseball games. Even if it's non-Shohei-affiliated things, if there's any sort of gambling involved in baseball, I mean, you're looking at probably a lifetime ban. I can't imagine giving precedent if, if the facts do and really come out to corroborate that worst possible, possible scenario, how baseball, without going back and completely redoing their standards of behavior, basically their employee handbook, Oh, we're no longer going to ban you for life, and this is how we're going to address it up to your first offense or something like that. They have no other recourse because precedent was set. That's why I think we're a long way from finding out what's going on. And there's, you know, every one of the entities that's investigating have different reasons to investigate. Some it's a crime, some it's a tax issue, and there's money due, and some there is the issue with the Major League Baseball, just the very validity of the games being played. If this guy gambled yeah, on mean, baseball, especially to lose, uh, we got uh, conversations that will never end. We're talking shoeless Joe kind of conversation at that when point. When you say it like that, it's wild when you consider how many people are sniffing around here because yes. you have the feds, right, who are concerned with the legality of what may or may not have been involved. You that would then, you know, as a kind of follow up, have the IRS uh, because you're which is always taxes. how you get got is the right. money. You would then have Major League Baseball conducting their actual, you know, internal investigation. And then in its own kind of other category, granted, it would be more of a, you know, individual thing. 
you have all the investigative reporters who are on the hunt for the story and who are pressing all of these other three parties for different information. And that makes, look, Shohei is a very powerful person and has a lot of very powerful people in and around his circle. But I don't know that if he truly is guilty to any degree, if he's going to be able to cover it up or protect it for as long as this ne- as would be necessary, which would be forever, um, especially with the attention. If, if he still played for the Angels, maybe that would be possible because people <laughs> would kind of not care. But be, like, because the ironic part of all this is that because of his new contract, because mm-hmm. of his new stature, because of his team now, like the attention that, that you know, I, I don't want to say he sought, you know, in, in signing with the Dodgers, but that attention could be his undoing uh, where he could have been more stealth if this had happened with his previous employer. I have no idea what happened. I really don't. Uh, it just, it's so far fetched. You go, I can't imagine that this occurred because the, the first question that came to my mind is, yeah, maybe you were misled completely, but there are processes put in place by financial institutions to ensure things like this don't happen, that you, you can't be completely robbed blind by somebody inside your house unless you have so mistakenly blundered and been led so far astray that you literally have no idea. I, what I'm saying is, you know, when my wife uses the ATM, I get an update. Hey, your wife just bought $9 at, at the local Valero. I would or, think half a million dollars done eight or nine times. The bank would go, you know, you're moving money to this one particular number a lot. Or beyond that, I mean, you're talking about like actual, you know, in, in, in this hypothetical charges that your family makes. I mean, have you ever had your card, your whether it's a credit card or your bank text you like this? This is you, weird. You just, right. you just, you just uh, bought a, a timeshare in the Poconos. This is not, you know, in accordance with your purchase history. Was this you reply Y or yes. N uh, and will cancel your card? Like, We've all gotten that text and we've all had to cancel the card or cancel whatever and open a new thing and wait in the mail for the new one. Like we've all had that, which is why the the like common sense smell test of this all really does show hey no favors, especially that they've already began the cover up um, in terms of walking back stories, mm-hmm. et cetera, et cetera. And that's why the I don't want to call it the the hit piece on the translator. But it did kind of read like a hit piece. It yeah. kind of read like we need to muddy this dude up because nobody can believe that he is reliable or trustworthy whatsoever. The uh, as that's always the case, the cover up is always worse than the crime. Mm-hmm. It just makes the guilty look guiltier, and the passerbys look guilty. Uh, this is a story that will continue. But we do want to talk Dallas Cowboys. You know, all this talk about inactivity. While it feels like uh, this is new to this year, this is nothing new. We've talked about their inactivity with the Cowboys. Built, not bought is, you know, the mantra. But are they so cheap they just don't do it? Are the Cowboys just one part of this broad business empire that Jerry has created because of the Cowboys? Wait till you hear some of this stuff. You're going to enjoy it. Talking Dallas Cowboys behind the scenes next. This is the Morning Huddle, and you're on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. Hey, the tournament action is kicking back up again Thursday night. Ladies continue to play. You need to be involved. You need to get on BetUS.com's freight train. I'd been on this train for, I don't know, eight years now. The train left the station with BetUS 30 years ago. Get on the, on the train and head to the rack with us, because I'll tell you what, there's no better time to jump in with BetUS.com. They've got something going on they've never offered before. That's 125% deposit bonus three times. On your first three deposits, they'll match up to 125% of your bonus. In the place, and if you're bringing crypto up to 200, what that means to you is free money. Go play betus.com. Call them at 1 800 mybetus. You talk, they type. By the way, while you're at betus.com, I want you to notice something unique. They also have, offer all the casino action you're chasing. You want board games, you want poker, they got it. You want all the teasers, you want all the props, they got it. You want every all the information you need to make an informed decision, they got it. You're looking for a place that pays you on time promptly? Yes, that's them. That's betus.com. It's the only book I endorse. It should be the only book you use. Go to 1-800-MY-BET, go to betus.com, but go there. Take advantage of what they're offering, and I know you're going to thank me later. It's the Blitz with Jason and Joe. Afternoons at 2. Coming up on the Blitz, the golf tournament is in the books, and it was a great success. Everybody had a great time, and now it's time to look forward to Las Vegas. Yeah, that's on Thursday. On Tuesday, uh, we're going to react to what's going on down at the 
owners meetings in the NFL. Plus, we've got taste of the North Side tickets that we are giving away today. Yes, it's that time of year to start thinking Fiesta. The Blitz starts at 2. The Blitz with Jason and Joe. Afternoons at 2 on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. Getting your biggest tax refund from Jackson Hewitt can lead to some spirited reactions. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Jackson Hewitt is so sure they'll get you your biggest refund that if they don't, you get your money back plus 100 bucks. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Switch to Jackson Hewitt and we'll beat what you paid last year, even if you filed online. Hewitt, yeah! Ain't nothing to it. Switch to Jackson Hewitt and pay less for tax prep, guaranteed. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. Nothing slows my little girl down, except a stuffy nose. Mommy. That's why I use Sinex Children's Saline from Vicks. Sinex instantly clears mucus in everyday stuffy little noses with a gentle, ultra-fine mist designed for kids. Just Sinex? Breathe. <sighs> Her stuffy nose is gone for now. And so is she. Sinex Children's Saline. Sinex? Breathe. <sighs> use as directed, keep out of reach of children ebay motors is here for the ride go ahead feel your engine admire that perfectly installed exhaust your vehicle's moving along this freeway like it was made from fresh installs and a whole lot of love with ebay motors you get over 122 million parts to keep it running and with ebay guaranteed fit they'll be the perfect fit every time plus at these prices well we're burning rubber not cash keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com eligible items only exclusions apply if you're a pro and flooring is your game, we'll help you win it. Because at LL Flooring, all we do is floors. You want decor? Drive. You want plumbing? You're LL Flooring has been helping pros knock it out of the park for over 30 years. Visit one of our 400 nationwide warehouses for one-on-one -on -one service, extensive inventory, and exclusive pro pricing. Oh, Get the pro treatment you deserve. Enroll today, online or in-store. LL Flooring, every step covered. Hard work, dedication, and dreams. These are the keystones of success. But easily filing your taxes with TurboTax and Credit Karma doesn't hurt either. And getting your max refund guarantee definitely doesn't hurt. But let others think you did a lot of hard work to file your taxes when in reality, it was a walk in the park. No, no, you literally filed while walking your dog in the park. Winner! Because some key info is pre-filled for you, so you can file quickly and confidently like the boss that you are. So give yourself the peace of mind that comes with getting expert help because you're going places. Let's go. And make tax season feel like it's award season with easy filing. Yeah. Know that you're backed by the leading tax preparer, TurboTax, and we'll show you all your filing options up front so there are no surprises. Feel accomplished and confident that your taxes are done right. File an Intuit Credit Karma today. Ah, yeah. Expert help not available with all products. Guarantee details available at TurboTax.com slash guarantees. Guys, did you know your testosterone affects everything in your system, including how you feel and perform every day? Right now, Revive Men's Health San Antonio will check your testosterone for free. Knowing your T levels is the first step in understanding if you have low T. Your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED. Maintaining an appropriate T-level can change your whole life. Most men start to see changes in their hormone levels in their 30s. Experience and results matter. So what are you waiting for? Get your T-levels checked today by local, experienced, and trusted men's health experts. They've helped thousands of men since 2011. They're so confident they can help you, they even guarantee it. Call Revive today and schedule your free testosterone test, free exam, and free consultation. Call Revive. 0-615-7777. That's 210-615-7777. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. 94.1 FM. San Antonio Sports Star. Hushin! You're riding with Robin RJ. This is the Morning Huddle. Hey, gather around. We got a bunch to talk about. This is the Morning Huddle. I'm Rob Thompson, RJ Ochoa, the managing editor of Blogging the Boys as well. Uh, the uh, free agency period continues to roll through. Uh, Stephen Jones, um, you know, he's been up in front about what's been going on in free agency or the lack of activity. It's not like we haven't heard from him prior to uh, yesterday. But, you know, as we continue to go through all of these days and we continue to hear 
what all the other NFL teams are doing, you know, free agency pickups, money being spent. And, and if they're not spending money, at least they're organizing their kitchen in a way that when it's time, they can make a meal. They've got the money to spend or have the appropriate collateral to make whatever move is appropriate. It seems like the Dallas Cowboys um, have not. And we've talked a lot about built, not bought. That's nothing new. But, you know, the Cowboys have never really been active in free agency. And he was asked about uh, his activity or inactivity uh, regarding the Cowboys. You know, we've never been real active in free right, agency. But you, you've you done know, we've, stuff, we've d- yeah. done things and we're not through. You know, we'll see where, uh, where we end up on some of these things in terms of, uh, uh, you know, in terms of what makes sense for us as we see what players um, might be available out there and uh, if they make sense for us. As we all know, this free agency thing seems to be condensed every year. More and more guys seem, seems to be one big, you know, run in the first three to five days. And then, you know, as you've seen lately, there's not a lot of activity out there. But, you know, sometimes guys just have to get their hands around where they want to be and what their financial situation is based on how the market's working out. <laughs> Okay, Stephen. Sometimes you just, you know, just get to sit back and watch. You got to see what's happening. So, you know, if something else happens, you might be ready. I mean, which, you know, at least he's being honest about what exactly they're doing. There's so many different areas that need to improve. And it seems like the Cowboys, at least in this period of the offseason, they, they've won in their minds the offseason, not by the players they've acquired, but by the coaches they've held on to. Keep in mind, they had they they forced the tight ends coach and the defensive line coach to stay, and then they went and got Mike Zimmer. And and really, maybe according to Zimmer, that might be the biggest free agent pickup so far the offseason because they got themselves a difference maker to replace their last difference maker and Dan Quinn with the new difference maker that they call Zim. It's going to evolve. I mean, we need to let Zim, you know, get his hands around what our personnel is and how he wants to go about it. He's been you know, he's been out of the game two years, but he's been studying the game for two years. Dan was out of the game for a year, and he came back and played defense in a completely different way than he was doing it uh, at Atlanta. You observe and you see what people are doing that works. But, uh, you know, I, I do think in general, Sam's philosophy is, uh, you know, he's going to play with bigger guys. We played with uh, three safeties mm-hmm. and two linebackers, and I think Zim's from everything we can see right now, he's, looks to play more with, you know, at least in the run down, you know, first, second down uh, scenarios playing with three linebackers. So, uh, you know, that's a change, you know, and I know he's big, big, big on stopping the run. Not that ever, not that Dan Quinn didn't either. I mean, everybody wants to stop the run, but, you know, in terms of how you're prioritizing and doing things that give you an opportunity to achieve what you want to be as a defensive unit, some people philosophically are a little different in how they go about it. And not that one's righter than the other. It's just what they do well and uh, how they've had success in the past and how they feel like they can have success going forward. Uh, Stephen Jones talking about Mike Zimmer uh, coming to the Cowboys and his emphasis on stopping the run. You know, so that's going to be his emphasis. Uh, They've upgraded in the size of linebacker out of the free agency, really the only thing that they've done. But to stop the run, you need the big bodies down there, right? And and the Cowboys, as we are being told, are reflecting or are going to focus on the draft to go get the guys they need, built, not bought. But one of those bricks that they used to build last year, uh, Mozzie, uh, was a complete disappointment. Uh, we got some news on Mozzie in a bit, but this is Stephen talking about the second year defensive tackle, Mozzie. Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, another year, you know, with Mozzie, I know Zim's looking forward to working with him. I just think Mozzie's going to step up and be a really good football. Uh, that Hankins was a good fit for us two years in a row. And, you know, there's usually big defensive tackles out there that you can pick up. I know the Eagles picked up a couple of couple years ago late in the game and just feel like uh, there's going to be some opportunities there, that position as well, you know, to add some depth and some competition for camp. Oh, man, I love wishful thinking. I, I, I love the fact that you are planning on everything just going smooth. You know, uh, Mozzie, oh, by the way, we heard this morning that both of our Michigan products, both Mozzie and Schoonmaker from last year's draft, both of them have had shoulder surgery since the season ended. Uh, Mozzie most of uh, – uh, well, it, 
he wasn't the most recent and Mozzie should be most ready for training camp, but with the you know, shoulder surgery, another hindrance to this tackle, which is going to be a lightning rod because he's going to be the focus over the next couple of weeks of what the Cowboys draft ability is. If they're going to survive and grow with the draft, well, last year's survive and grow was awful. So as we look forward, we're going to be looking at Mozzie a lot and to find out right now that he's already going to be slowed by shoulder rehab. It just doesn't, Oh, well, it doesn't feel well. So that's the defensive line. Uh, they lost Hankins. They've got a, a defensive coach that believes in big-bodied defensive linemen, big-bodied linebackers to stop the run, and they're already kind of hemorrhaging and dealing with losses of three or well, two defensive linemen and an injury there. So that's where they stand there. Now uh, let's talk offense. As we look at the, uh, the, 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 the ongoing discussion about Dak and his contract restructured, renewed, prolonged, whatever the case may be, you're going to have to protect him. They lost Tyron in a comical way. They just decided, you know what, as good as you've been, we just know any money after the bad money ain't going to be, it's too much money. Well, Stephen was asked about uh, the offensive line, specifically Tyler Smith and what that versatile guy offers them. You know, there's a long way between here and there, but this might be uh, problem number one for the Cowboys. That's probably correct. I mean, at the end of the day, versatility is a huge thing. And anytime you got a player like uh, Tyler, uh, who can be shown that he can play at a high level at tackle or guard, that brings versatility. And uh, like I said, we, you know, have some young guys there like a TJ Bass, who? Uh, you know, that really stepped up and played uh, well for us last year. We're looking forward to a full off season with well, let's go again and seeing what awesome Richards does. And we'll have ball back in the mix again. And, you know, see how these guys uh, pan out as we uh, work into the off season, but feel really good about them. And, you know, at the same time, I'm sure we'll, because of the depth at that position, probably a pretty good chance, uh, you know, that we take an offensive lineman pretty high in this draft. Uh, take an offensive lineman pretty high in the draft. If they don't draft a tackle in the first round, they, they continue to prove that they're just doing it wrong. And the draft, as RJ has been so apt to point out, has not been overly successful. Now, nobody's questioning. They've drafted okay. They've got guys on their roster that have lasted the three years of that first contract, and we know the numbers of guys that come and go. They haven't been terrible. But in the positions that have been required, guys that they they had pinpointed or positions that they pinpointed that needed to be filled via the draft, that if they didn't, they weren't going to have the money to go kind of augment that in free agency. And Stephen talked about, you know, the inactivity and where they sit. If they're not going to be able to draft appropriately, we got trouble. But first and foremost, they're going to have to draft. And if they didn't, the inactivity they're going to pay for, Stephen talked about, just kind of sitting on their hands. You know, we've never been real active in free agency. Right, but you, you've you know, we've, I want to stop we've it right there. That's playing and we're not through, you know, we'll They've never been real right, active. So why did we expect them to do anything differently? Why did we expect them to do anything differently other than they were all in? So if the draft is the important thing, are they going to be able to draft with the few picks they have to align with their needs? Yeah, but I think the draft aligns, you know, a little bit with our needs. I mean, the, you know, I think the deepest position in this draft is offensive line. Every year you're wanting to bring young guys, you know, into the fold in terms of your offensive line depth and how we work that. I think that aligns very well with us. But uh, I think we've always, uh, Will and, and Alex, Loomis, you know, they've done a good job of always looking for things that would uh, make sense for us. Just a bunch of dancing. The focus is going to be so completely on this draft that they're going to have to hit a home run. But the problem is we won't know if it's a home run for quite a bit for more than the time they'll be allotted. And Mike McCarthy, as he sat down, and you're going to hear a lot of that during the day as he was sitting with the owners, um, kind of took the company line for sure. Wasn't angry, but you know he comes from Green Bay and he's accustomed to a team that really was hamstrung by their locale and the, the way that the team was set up in Green Bay, that they weren't ever chasing big-time free agents. They had they had, did indeed have to build through the draft. This is McCarthy's uh, last run at this. I found it very interesting. Make sure you pay attention to what he did today. Uh, last night, the Spurs won without Wimby. I think the question of the day as we carry forward is why? Why did they look so excited to be playing without 
the rookie of the year and the odds or the possible and probable uh, face of the league here in the next couple of years. Last night was a fun basketball game against a team in Phoenix that not only needed the win, but had already beaten them two days before with the superstar. And to watch the Spurs get out and have some fun and really play a game that we hadn't seen in a minute uh, and win two consecutive games now without winning. Uh, I think is going to be the question. Pay real close attention as we head out of town after completing what was the longest homestand in uh, the NBA this year. And it really didn't turn out that well, but they closed out with a win. Headed up to Utah uh, tomorrow night on the wings of a Jeremy Sohan jump shot. One hand, they said. He did it last night. We, we're going to figure out how to get Wimby in and at the same time, keep those players having fun. Maybe it was the turnovers that Wimby uh, tended to offer. Um, We'll see tomorrow night as they take on Utah. As we close down the show, I want to take just a moment to thank everybody that came out to our golf tournament. We had the best time, and it's always a pleasure catching up with all you guys that we see scrolling the brigade board that are talking with us on our socials. If you didn't get a chance, hey, we're going to be playing again in uh, September. Make sure you're paying really close attention to it. Hey, go check your brackets. There's only three perfect ones. The ladies are going to continue playing tonight. The Sweet 16 gets going on Thursday night with the Blitz in Vegas. Go to SA Sports Star for all the details. Hey, we'll see you tomorrow. This has been The Huddle.